Yo, yo, yo. What's good, what's good? What's good, guys? How's your Monday going? I just checked the YouTube channel. We got 110 subs, which is honestly awesome. Super hyped about that. Just a good feeling, you know? I feel like, you know, I hit the 100, now I'm at the 110. I'm going to start rolling out the uh, the clips, like, starting today. Damn, bro, doing chest press at the gym. Let's go, bro. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, bro. Do that shit. Be healthy, bro. That's super important, bro. Hope you're hope you're killing it. Um, I just uh before I start doing the music stream, like the review and stuff thing, stuff like that. Um, there's just something that happened. There's there's a reason why, um, the stream took like I was like a little little bit late to start the stream. Um, so I just kind of want to break that down a little bit and explain to you what happened just because i need to get it off my chest because because i it's something that i saw and it really bugged me and i just i feel like in order for me to be like the person i am on stream and be like happy and like vibe out i need to get it off my chest um so if you don't know i'm i'm a i'm a parent myself like i have a daughter she's five years old I love her to death you know i i try to be the best parent i can be everything like that um and me and my girlfriend we share a car but when i'm doing streams i obviously would just bus here i'm not going to take the car so she can't bring like my daughter anywhere or do anything like that right so as like a parent like whatever i'm like busing busing over here to do the stream and there's like the bus i got off on was at the mall and I was at the, there's like two sides of the street. So there's like one side that like most of the buses go to. And then there's, and that's where the mall is. And then the other side, just the other side of the street. So it's a, it's about like a 25 to 30 foot distance. Um, and I was just sitting there and my phone died. I didn't have like earbuds. I wasn't listening to anything. And I just saw like this um, woman. What, what's up guys? What's up? I, I'm just getting something off my chest real quick. Um, I just saw this woman, probably around my age, maybe a little bit older, maybe a little bit younger. Um, like she had like half green, half black hair. Um, and she's just like carrying her kid like under her shoulder, like her son, probably like a little bit younger than my daughter, maybe like three and a half, four years old. And he was like throwing a tantrum. So like, you know, I know, I know what it's like to have a kid and like a kid has a tantrum and stuff like that. But what this what this woman did was just like it it seriously just like i don't know man i i basically what happened was i'm all the way across the street i can literally hear her screaming at the top of her lungs at her like three to four year old son screaming at the top of her lungs getting like so mad like swearing at her kid like being super aggressive with her kid and she was doing that for like 15 minutes um before like i just i couldn't like take it anymore like i'm a parent like i can't watch somebody like treat their kid like that it was it was like i was like i was like crying dude it was like fucked up like i couldn't believe it um and so i walked up and like i confronted her and like you know i'm not gonna escalate the situation like i, I i'm like i'm not gonna like yell at her that makes no sense right like she's yelling at her kid i don't i don't want her to like like i don't want to be yelling in front of her kid and it just was like like i just said like hey like you need to stop yelling at your kid and being like aggressive. And then she was just like, you're judging my parenting, blah, blah, blah. I was like, yeah, like I have a kid. Like that's just not, not the way to like treat it, you know? Like, and she's like, he's been doing this for two hours, blah, 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 throwing a tantrum. And I'm like, well, like, I mean like the way you're acting right now, like the way you're acting like reflects on, on how your kid's acting. And she, she just like, instead of like realizing that, you know, it's so out of hand that people are like, I just said that I was like, you know, there's a stranger walking up to you right now because you're being so like aggressive with your kid and you're being so like, like you're screaming at your kid and swearing at your kid. Like if a stranger is coming up to you and, and talking about that, like clearly it's, it's a pretty big deal. Like that's a problem. And you know, like I was like, if you don't like, I, I, I basically like, she just wouldn't stop. And it was just so sad because the kid was just like looking at me and I could just see like he wanted help 
it, it was just awful. So that's just um, that's kind of what happened. I just wanted to get that off my chest. I ended up going to get mall security, but by the time mall security came, she was already gone, and that's why I'm late because I missed my bus going to get mall security because I just felt terrible for this kid. Um, it just there's this there's this thing like like I I don't understand how somebody can be like. Like, I don't think that people that don't have self-awareness should have kids because, like, you should be able to, like, look at the situation, especially if somebody's coming up to you and interrupting you, like, grabbing your kid, picking them up, screaming at them, saying, for fuck's sakes, fucking literally, like, like, being like, you're not taking off your fucking jacket and just doing shit like that, bro. Like, uh, like, you should be able to, like, self-reflect and be like. Like, if, especially if somebody comes up to you, like, dude, like, what the fuck to, to not to not immediately be like, oh, my gosh, yeah, like, I'm, I'm out of hand. I'm really sorry. Like, it's so crazy that there's like parents that exist like this in the in the world. Like, there's there, like to to be so not self-aware that you can be in a public place and you can be screaming at your kid and swearing at your kid for 15 minutes is like terrifying because like what happens behind closed doors? If you're comfortable screaming at a kid and swearing at your kid and being aggressive with a kid in public like what happens behind closed doors it, it's just it's really sad to see man like um and there's so many people that were like around on on that side of the road that just didn't say anything which bothers me because it's just like i don't know you i think people need to understand like if if you guys ever personally see this shit like if you're ever out in public l look like like people parents get mad no parents are perfect and stuff like that but if you see like a parent literally being physically aggressive and screaming at the top of their lungs at their kid multiple times that's throwing a tantrum like like you should go tell somebody or try to try to try to get like help for that kid because it's it's just like you never know what's going on behind closed doors and like maybe you speaking up and trying to do something can like make a difference and and give that kid a better life um so <sighs> I just need to get that off my chest like it, it just it literally just happened like like 30 minutes ago like 30 40 minutes ago so I wanted to get that off my chest and uh get it out of the way like I, I think if I just didn't say anything about it or didn't talk about it and just went on stream I probably wouldn't have been myself because it would have been in my head but yeah um definitely that that is something I just want you guys to know if you ever see something like that in public definitely speak out it's not something that's normal it's not something that's okay kids kids throwing tantrums is so normal but to be like like you should never react in a way where you're like screaming at your kid or like being physical like grabbing them aggressively like to the point it's just it's just crazy it's just crazy um but hopefully hopefully this this mom cools down she like can acknowledge that somebody like walked up to her and like actually said that and maybe she can like self-reflect a little bit as a parent and try to do better because that, that's all i can hope for you know like kids are innocent they don't deserve that whether they're throwing a tantrum or not like it's literally a child like ch children throw tantrums that's n not anything abnormal and to and if your kid's throwing a tantrum for two hours and being all crazy for two hours i can see why because of your own actions like you have to self-reflect on yourself and look at it like that's there's this thing that somebody said or they did a recent uh study that found out that people under a certain iq level don't have any self-awareness which is like terrifying like that's actually crazy that there's people that walk around completely not self-aware but you i've seen it before i've seen it before you know like, like I've seen people and you can just tell they're not self-aware, but apparently that's like a real low IQ thing. And I think if people, people who have an IQ at that level should not be allowed to have kids, I right? might be controversial, but like, honestly, if you can't be self-aware as a parent, that's like the most important thing that you need to be is self-aware. You need to be aware of what you're doing and, and like be able to reflect on, on your actions at all times and be able to basically like, if you see you're doing something wrong. You need to be able to know you're doing it wrong, reflect on that, and try to do better in the future because that's what makes a good parent at the end of the day. So I appreciate you guys um, you guys taking the time to actually listen. You know, I know this isn't like what the stream's about and something like that. I appreciate the the support and everything like that. Honestly, um, I, just, I just need to get that off my chest. So uh, yeah, Kai, just so you know, I didn't do anybody's yet. I just had to go on a little... Um, just, just had to talk about something that happened because 
If I didn't, I wouldn't be able to be myself, you know, be be the underground unk at the end of the day. So I, I feel like hopefully you guys hearing that and hearing it from like maybe a parent's perspective, if you're ever in public and you see something like that, maybe you'll you'll speak up just because it's not um, it's it's not ex like it's not acceptable to be a parent and act like that. Like it is actually awful. But that being said, let's go to the music and beat review. I'm really excited. We got we got a decent amount of submissions and everything like that. Um, let's see. So, Fazo, I just seen you say, can you go first? You know how I do this, bro. I do it in the order that they come in. Unless somebody's not in in the chat, then you know I move on and I bounce around. That's that's the unk way. But um, that being said, the first person that I do have is um, Jangi. Is Jangi in here? I saw him when um. The first person, the first person who came in was like Jangy with uh, B Storm. I'm just wondering if he's still in here. If he's still in here, I can play his. If he's gonna come on back, that's not a problem. You know, I move on. That's how it goes. Yeah, I saw him too. Um, for real, yo, Jangy, where you at, bro? By the way, it's it's dope to just have 15 people in here off rip. Like, that's like a huge thing for me. I appreciate that so much just because, you know, like you guys literally have to like get off Instagram and go and get off Discord and like go on YouTube to be able to watch it. So so just to have this many people like tune in consistently now has been really amazing. And I appreciate it um, a lot more than anything. I appreciate you guys. I guess you guys are the reason why I do this. And I love to hear all the talent that comes through. So I don't think Jengi's here still. All right, that's good. Molly is you, by the way. Okay, yeah, I'll I'll try to remember that. What's good, hyper? Yeah. What's good, dial tone? Oh, that's a cool way to spell it, bro. I I used to have my name. My uh, producer name is Double O Seven, and I used to have it like Zero X Two Seven, just so it was like different from other people. I always like creative wordplay to make your name like an at. That's easier to find. What's good, Clover? What's good? What's good? So that being said, if Jangi is not in here right now, we got. Let's see. Is Valentino in the chat right now? We got Valentino. Hell yeah, bro. You still in here? What's good? What's good? That's what's up, Valentino. Yeah, so it was uh it was like zero X two and seven was spelt out like S E V E N. That way because like zero x 27 doesn't it, like i wanted it to be like kind of in a way where um verbally speaking it kind of made sense but then everybody just called me ox and then my tag i got somebody to do my tag and they just said 007 run that shit back so i ended up just making my like producer name 007 run that shit back now just it's just easier if i was to like start putting out like uh like if i started djing again i would probably go by zero x two seven just because it's got that like digital name and stuff like that like if i really got into it i want to do that by the way i don't know if that's something you guys would ever be interested in but there's something i really want to do where i actually dj uh like my favorite submissions like i want to like build a playlist of submissions dj like like and do a dj mix because i i i started djing before i even started making beats like djing is like it's like second nature to me i don't even have to practice or anything like that yeah that's what i mean like do a live set on live with your guys's um equipment and stuff like that and uh one way zay no 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 you're not late bro it's only only been a half hour i was late myself had something happen but yeah that's something i definitely want to do just do uh like dj makes it's even like flip some of the songs like it'd be really cool to like work with uh people like like that I know that do like house music and stuff like that in the community to to make like house remixes of like certain songs that you guys make just to throw them in a DJ mix like a type of bootleg edition like like that would be I feel like that would be super cool I just want to keep growing too because you know it, it's to set up like a whole DJ live stream and stuff like that it's a lot of work I just want to be at a level where it would it would get de decent viewage and then I would probably make a SoundCloud page and post the entire mix it's like before I even started making beats I'm not going to let you guys know what my old SoundCloud name is, but like you can literally find like mix DJ mixes from when I was like a 10 year old kid and they're like actually good. I actually used to be goaded, bro. I'm not going to lie. Hell yeah, bro. Almost at 20 viewers and I haven't even reviewed shit yet, <laughs> <laughs> bro. I'd be yapping too much, but, um, 
Deadline the future, bro. Hell yeah. I swear, bro. Deadline's about to be huge. I love the community we're building too. All the people like involved. It's not just the team. It's really everybody. Everybody that's here. Everybody that takes the time out of their day to like submit. And just me being able to find talent is like so cool. Like, like I've been able like with like Deadline in our community, I've been able to get people like sales, um, people like GFX sales, connect people. Like I, I it's so corny. I don't want to do it. Like put it in my bio because you see those people and they're like dot connector. That's like their bio. But I feel like I'm actually kind of doing that. I try to connect the dots for a lot of people and like help put a lot of people on. And it doesn't matter how big I get. I'm going to always look for like smaller artists and producers. I'm always going to do the live streams so that I could actually find people like that, which is um, that's kind of like why I love doing the streams. You know, I want to I want to be able to like, dude, like if I have like a hundred thousand like fucking subs on YouTube and like Instagram and all that, I pretty much want to be able to like put on if somebody has 200 subs or two not, like 200 followers on instagram and they're fire bro i want them to be able to make it like no matter how high up i am like no matter how high i get and like how um big i end up getting i literally don't care like like one of the things I, I you can hold me to it you can clip this and use it against me if i ever do it like i'll never charge people to submit i'll never do like skip the line shit like that i don't want to charge people like i want to basically run up my um like I basically want to run up my my po to get to the point where I'm at monetization, and then once I'm at monetization, then I get paid. Like I don't want to make money off of you guys. I want you guys to make money. I want you guys to be successful. That's the thing, right? It's it's that's the difference between me and like every other beat music review. Yeah, CGM, CGM's the goat. Yeah, I did get Unk to follow. Um, or yeah, I got CGM to follow Clover for real. CGM CGM's the GOAT, bro. CGM's super fire, too. He was really humble and really really cool. I'm really glad he was down with it. It was dope to have somebody uh, do my, like, do the first interview that was, like, actually really interesting and, and had a lot to talk about. Like, especially that Doughboy story, bro. That Doughboy story is insane. Being in the studio with Doughboy and all the people had, like, the switches and shit like that. When CGM coming back on? Bro, honestly, I feel like you'd be down. Like, I definitely could do it soon. I do want to do more interviews with other people. Right now, I'm trying to talk to Skizzy. Because I talked to him, like, months ago about the interview. He said he'd be down for it. So I just reached out to him again. Hopefully, he responds. Because it would be really cool to do that. Because, I mean, Skizzy... I just really want to, like... I feel like it's so interesting. And he's from Ontario, too. Like, he's from... um, Like, he's a couple hours away. But that being said, Valentino Slaya, the GOAT, the reason why, he's literally the reason why I started doing these streams earlier is because of him. Because, like, he couldn't tune into the streams because it was too late for him. So I would end up, like, like I would be like, oh, I'm going to play it. And then and then I would forget because, you know, like, it would be like a six-hour stream. I forget. Shit like that. What date am I on? I'm at uh, yesterday, 10-17. Yeah, yeah. So the list isn't as long as you guys think. It, it has like the whole back catalog and stuff like that. But I still think I got like like twenty ish submissions, probably more. But I got a really good amount. Like I announced it like yesterday or like the night before. Like I'm trying to make it a, like just so you know, guys know. So from from now on, like the streams, the way it works is after a stream is done, you can start submitting for the next stream. But I'm not gonna like scroll back to find a submission that you submitted two weeks ago because that just makes things super complicated. So even if you don't tune into the stream and i don't review it because you don't tune in definitely just resubmit if you can um tune in and stuff like that you know what i mean just just do a resubmission that way you know it's like easy for me to keep up with that stuff and also mondays religiously like like it's going to be like i don't know what's that term like not religiously Mon every monday is going to be live streams i don't know if they're always going to be at 4 p.m but every single monday is streams now that is literally the like day every week that i do music and beat review streams like it's not going to be a different day i this is like my consistent day every single week so just so you guys know so like because i always have to like announce it and stuff like that i just want people to be aware so they that they submit earlier and stuff like that that way they uh get it in but um yo what's good move what's good so Moff is a buddy from my city. Yeah, do, if you're in the Discord, it should be. If you're not in the Discord, it is in the like link. The link, it's like the Discord link. It says join the public Discord in the description. Just copy paste that link, join the Discord. That is where you submit. There's a section beat and music reviews. That's where it is.
Weekly beat review. Yeah, weekly beat reviews. It's official. I'm not. I'm never. I'm not doing any like delays or anything like that. I'm not gonna be like random sporadic. Like it's consistently Mondays. Like Mondays are my days for music and beat reviews. All right, Valentino Slaya. Let's see. Let's see what you cooked up, bro. I gotta mute my mic, turn up the monitors, and and let's see what you're cooking, bro. For real. That's what's up, bro. Yeah, yeah, I fucked with that heavy. I really liked it, bro. I liked it. I liked the like the synth and the and the melody and shit. I really fucked with the the like vibe. The eight oh eights were super hard. I like the way you mix them in and shit like that and the drums. Really good patterns and stuff like that. Um critique wise, if I'm gonna give it a critique, I'm definitely gonna say to like Take out that top line synth, like that down, wow, what down. Like take that out at some point and just kinda like let the eight oh eights like ride and kinda like just be like gritty with like the little like da -da 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 -da, like those like background type of noises and stuff like that. Just to like take it out. But I really like the the things that I really liked a lot were one hundred percent just having like the the vinyl stops and stuff like that. It just like made it like a little bit more like whoa like it, it makes it it just makes it harder bro like it's just naturally like something that's super hard i definitely would say um and it's not something that people do enough so it it kind of like gives it a unique spin like and gives it like your own sound and your own taste and stuff like that um so yeah it, other than just a little bit of like an arrangement change just because i feel like there's a section that goes eight bars too long and should have that like top line taken out other than that, it's it's a super fire fire beat. I really like it. I like the mixing and everything like that because you have like a really cool, unique mix and stuff like that that um has like grown on me because it's almost like this like a, like a style of mixing that's not in the the like typical like opium Ken Carsony like d distortion shit like it's pretty clean bro i really liked it i really liked it um and like i mean the sl smallest nitpick of all time would be like maybe for the for the clap just taking out a little bit of the low end on the clap just because it's a little it's a little bit like hefty but it's not it's not a make or break like it doesn't make that big of a difference at all so i definitely fuck with it bro it's definitely a vibe yeah it's just an arrangement thing usually that's i've noticed that most like Almost everybody that submits is like super fire. And if like there's one critique to make, it's it's very small and 
usually like the one my the biggest critique I notice that I give to people is arrangement is just like having a little bit of a different arrangement type of thing in in the way you're arranging the beat and stuff like that just sent in two on the discord bet um so mof just so you know the way that it works i like go through in order make sure that the people are here before i reviewed and stuff like that so i got i'm gonna be running through like everybody else first and then i will get to yours 100 percent. the streams go for a decent amount of time so um i mean Definitely, this is an opportunity for you to, because you're from my city, to hear some of the talent that like I've been able to connect with and I've been able to um, find in this community. So, so it's definitely a good opportunity and stuff like that. But I will take into account it's not mixed as well, because um, that's usually one of my critiques. But I can definitely put that aside. That being said, thank you, Valentino. I appreciate your submissions as always, man. They're they're always super fire, and I'm glad that I do these streams now so that you can actually tune into them. That being said. To move on, we got This Goes Hard, Alex. I don't know if he's in the chat right now, but just so you guys know, I am hosting on the YouTube channel on Saturday. I'll give you guys the exact time probably on Instagram and, and Discord soon, but he's doing a beat battle for like a $50, $50 grand prize um, on his Discord. You know me. I'm all about helping the community. I'm all about putting people on. I saw that he was doing that. I asked him, hey, like, where are you? Like, how are you streaming the beat battle? Are you saying through Discord? So I decided to just offer him the opportunity for me to host it for him. So I'm going to be hosting that Saturday. I'll give you guys an exact time, but submissions, I believe, are due Friday, this Friday coming up. Um, I'm super excited to see which producers, like even people in Deadline, who are going to tap in to the stream. I want to see what you guys bring with it. He has like specific loops for it. So definitely, if you want more details reach out to this goes hard alex he's on the on the deadline discord and everything like that he'll send you his discord the loops and everything like that okay alex said he would be late okay that's fine but uh yeah i just wanted to let you guys know i i don't think i've made an announcement on stream about it yet so i definitely did want to make an announcement just so you guys are aware that i am doing another stream this week I'm going to try to consistently stream twice a week, man, especially like doing interviews. I think I'm going to like try to just it's going to be like music reviews every week and then a different type of stream, maybe cook up stream soon, like using you guys loops, something like that. I feel like that would be definitely interesting. Um, that being said, let's move on. If Alex isn't here yet, we got magic. That's the discord name. Magic is magic in the chat. Prod Magic. Yo, so I don't, uh, just so you know, Mo, if I don't do skip the lines, I was just talking about that earlier. I don't want to like charge people, like I don't want to make money off of my viewers and stuff like that. But um, let's be real, like with like, I'm going to be honest because these streams do go on for a while and there's like hella submissions. Like if you just submitted, depending on the people that are tuned in, you're probably going to be waiting like uh, like a couple hours or something like that. So if you want to tune in like later and stuff like that, like the stream is probably going to be going on for like at least four hours. That's what usually happens. These are long streams because I make sure to listen to everybody who's hears music and I make sure to give them like really good feedback. Also, I like to use this channel to, you know, talk about music in general and everything like that. So, yeah, it should I would say maybe a couple hours, but if you want to tune in and out, it's definitely worth it because there are super fire producers that I think you could lock in with personally, like being an artist yourself. Faizo, you're you're not prod magic, are you? Yeah, for sure, for sure, Mof. Yeah, come back. You'll be good to come back for sure. Um, what's good, Pharaoh? What's good? So, do we have magic in the chat, or bruh, <laughs> Faizo? <I'd... laughs> Bro, FaZe's alter ego is crazy. Bro made a whole other Discord account so he could get two submissions in. Yeah, just so you know, if you didn't know, I'm doing one submission a person now just because of the influx of uh, of us growing and stuff like that. But it's definitely like one of those things where if I run through everybody and I'm feeling in a good mood, I'll definitely keep it going. You know what I mean? Keep the vibes going and shit. All right. So Magic's not here. Clover, are you still in the chat? Phaso geeked. Hell yeah. 
Phase was fire, bro. I was complimenting him last stream, bro. Is, bro is the best mixes, I swear. I swear, bro, might be the mix and go. All right, bet. So, next song we got is from Clover. It's called Treat You Right. It's a draft, so it's not, it's not going to be a finished product or anything like that. I will keep that into account. It's produced by Felicia, but it's spelled like F-X-L-I-C-I-A. So, yeah, I'm excited to hear what you brought, Clover. I'm, I, you know me, I really fuck with... Um, with your vibes and shit like that, bro. I, I especially the R and B type of stuff. So, I'm definitely looking forward to peeping this, seeing what your beautiful voice will grace us with tonight. No homo, and I said tonight, and it's bright as hell out. I just wanna treat you right. Treat you right. I just wanna treat you right. Treat you right. I just wanna treat you right. Whoa. I just wanna treat you right. Put you in CCU. Put you in VVs. Oh yeah. Let you see me, oh yeah Your ex wanna be me, oh yeah Don't run, don't fight it Don't try to hide it Girl, I'm coming To you Yo, hell yeah, Clover. That's fire. Yeah, yeah. I can't. I can't wait to to hear like the final mix, bro. Hopefully, you have it by next week because I would love to hear how it's finally mixed. But I really, really like the vocal and like the ranges and the and the stuff you went for. It's it's like an open, right? I'm right. Like you're gonna have like another artist hop on, or are you gonna are you gonna also do a verse or something like that? I think it would personally. I think it'd be super cool if you like found an artist through the community to like work and 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 do a verse on that song and stuff like that. Um, once you have it like mixed up and finished, uh, I really, really, really like the beat. Like I said, I really like the vocals. I can't judge the mix at all because you know it's just a draft. But I know from 
losing interest that like you you can definitely like mix your shit up and get it get it going good i i really like it bro i because you know like the only thing i would complain about is the mix but that's like it's not even a finished product but the vocal ranges and like the the vocal shit you hit is really nice bro dude's like it's so funny that people are calling you tory lanes too because you're also like super short <laughs> I'm not. I'm not hating, bro. Bro, you're 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 super talented. So it doesn't matter if you're short, bro. Look at Tory Lane. Tory Lane. Tory Lane's got hella bitches, and and he was, and he was short too. So, I really do like it, though. I really do like it, bro. The the harmonies. Yeah, yeah. That's a great way to to. That's a great word. But yeah, no, no. Clover's so talented, bro. Clover's so talented. I. I fuck with Clover, bro. I'm so glad I've been able. I like. I'm so glad I found him through through doing the streams. That's what I mean, bro. That's why these streams are fucking lit, bro. Because we really do be finding talent through this shit, bro. And I'm really trying to put people on the on talent, like like I mean, like with the CGM interview, bro. I put I put him on. I put Clover on, bro. I I let him hear him. And and CGM, I hope you guys lock in. I hope he he is able to like get you some opportunities that. I wouldn't be able to get you or like anybody else really because you're super fire bro you're super fire clover um you just you just need the platform really you really do um i appreciate your artistry and everything like that and you have really good beat selection as well like that beat was like great it's really hard to like make a beat that um like an r&b type style beat that doesn't sound corny like it, there's like a fine line between like a good quality r&b type beat and like a corny one like it's very like sound selection. You need a lot of space. You need like a lot of space without it sound sounding like boring and empty. So yeah, I fuck with it, bro. I fuck with it. I always fuck with your submissions, bro. It's a vibe. I love because when you're first submitting, you were sending some totally different shit. So it's really cool to like see your sound change and you kind of finally found your pocket and your sound. I really really like it, bro. Overall, so I appreciate your submission, bro. I, I, next week, bro, I'll let I, I'll let you send two if you send like that finished mixed because i would love to hear it bro i would love to have my ears blessed like that for real what's good elijah what's good let's see let's see though that being said we're gonna move on next up we got one ways a's i've been seeing you in the chat bro last time you went uh two for two you went two for two you were super fire and it was really cool because like i found you through that uh bandits group chat and stuff like that it's been really nice that i've been able to like find other artists and stuff like that i kind of expanded my uh the the people that i i'm listening to now so i'm thankful for him for that shout out to bannon bro even though he's like never in here or anything like that it's just it's just good that he was able to help me connect those dots and, and find people like you so that being said hell yeah zay you're in here i'm excited super pumped bro your, your submissions your last two submissions last time were pretty solid i had like very little critical critiquing to really make so i'm gonna mute myself i'm gonna click on the soundcloud link and let's see what you brought to the table today Up in this bitch with a fucking honey. Yeah. I ran out of the side of smoke. Now you gotta fucking run it. And I'll copy you. That shit now bad as you want. So you could have said I didn't try. You got me taking these pranks to the face. I feel like I might just don't. Baby, you know that I'm trying my best for you. You ain't wanna get next to me. So I try to get next to you. They try to push me away. Then that shit hurt. They try to blush my image. of niggas trying to put my name in the dirt. But I know that you'll say solid for me. Late nights when she call my phone, yeah, I know that she horny And you stay down from the start, you got a special place in my heart And I was fighting depression, and shawty, she came in my life and took me out the dark And I love you for that, and I'm sorry that you really wanna go But you cheated, you were up, feel like time moving so slow And my time being wasted, you know I'm too impatient Now I wish you never stayed, cause I hate the games you play one more time for the niggas in the back that feel this And one more time for the woman in the back try to hear this You hated me when I was broke I was a bad nigga, wasn't a joke I ain't even wanna go home Cause that shit ain't feel at home 
walked up in this bitch with a fucking honey. Yeah. I done ran out of Zada smoke, now you gotta fucking run it. And I'll copy you, that shit now bad as you want, so you could've said I didn't try. You got me taking these perks to the face, I feel like I might just die. Baby, you know that I'm trying my best for you. You ain't wanna get next to me, so I try to get next to you. They try to push me away, then that shit hurt. They try to burnish my image, them niggas trying to put my name in the dirt. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, so like um my thoughts on the song. Dude, honestly, I I like the uh I like your lyrics a lot and your mix on your vocals is super good, bro. But the mix on the beat, like I don't know who produced that, but the mix on the beat, like I saw somebody saying Zay. I don't know who the producer is, but I I think like one, the mix of the beat was super poor. Two, I don't like plug and be in the first place. So that's just that's just like my bias. But I really think that the the mix on that beat was kinda it was like quiet and it just sounded like the entire mix of that beat sounded so muddy, muddy, whereas like your vocals sounded a lot clearer. Like your vocals were actually like super clear, prominent. You had good flows, everything like that. The beat was literally holding you back. It just the beat was like honestly like like that beat was like I've I don't even like plug and beat and I've gotten like submissions with like plug and be beats and stuff like that. Um and I've and I've like enjoyed the submissions, but that beat just really like it had bounce, but it was really, it was a really, really, really muddy mix, like really muddy mix. It just sounded like a like poor quality. Like I don't know, bro, bro, mix the beat, like bro, like put his fucking like headphones into like a Mickey and put it up to his ear. He like bro makes the beat on a on a C on a seashell or something, bro. Like like I don't I don't fucking even know, bro. Like I was not a fan of the beat at all personally, but. The song is really good. And the upside is, speaking of mixes of beats, Prod Fazo wants to work with you. And I just co-signed that dude last week for having really good fucking mixes on his beats. So 100%, I think you should lock in with him. Because he actually has good mixes on his beats. And I think you guys can make like some super fire shit. That's why I do these streams, bro. I'm trying to connect dots for you guys, for real. I'm telling you right now, Fazo's going up, bro. Fazo's super fire. Has really, really good mixes. I think if you two go up together it, it will work because your mixes on your vocals are actually pretty clean your um your inflections are really good like your ca cadence and stuff like that and like it's very clear like you can hear everything you're saying and stuff like that so that being said definitely not a fan of the beat dude literally just strip the vocals and get phaso to like make a beat for that or something bro <laughs> like i'm dead ass like i don't know i don't know if this is like released or unreleased yet um, but I, I, I don't know. That beat was, was not, was not hidden, bro. I don't know. Like it just, it, the mix was kind of mad. Like, especially cause it's one thing if like the mix of your vocals wasn't good, it wasn't great. And so it kind of like would make the song sound overall, like not well mixed. It's the fact that your vocals were actually mixed, like pretty good. Like you had a, like a mix that was like pretty clear and good. So it's like with the beat that's bad, it like it's like almost worse than if, if both were bad, you know, like you deserve better. You deserve better than those beats. Like uh, no hate to the producers. I don't know why the mix was so muddy. They probably make better beats. Just maybe that one wasn't, wasn't, wasn't a hit for them. Are you tweaking or is the stream really delayed? I hope not, bro. Like I was confused about that. Cause um, I feel like there's kind of a little bit of a stream delay. But it can't be like crazy. Is it? Is it? Um, what's it called? Is the stream delay like my vocal, like me talking personally, or is it? Is it like the video is faster, or is it just like I'm me replying to you guys is a bit slower? I'm just curious. Like three seconds of video, like if you see me talking, is is the audio delayed? Oh, between chat and you, okay. Okay, chat's not a big deal, bro. There's always no. There's always gonna be a delay. I'm just letting you guys know. Um, if you weren't here for the first stream, my my delay was literally like, like thir over thirty seconds. So I've definitely improved it. I think this is the best it's gonna get. I don't think I can get like perfect because I'm not connected into Ethernet or anything like that. I don't even think I have the best Wi-Fi here. So I have it at ultra low latency. What's good, Tornik? I seen you submitted something.
be it. But that being said, bro, one way Zay, as a vibe, bro, definitely lock in with Fazo. I think you guys can make some hits 100% because with your good vocal mixing and his good beat mixing, you guys could be a dynamic duo, in my opinion. That being said, moving on, we got Makai. Is Makai in the chat right now? Where am I in the submission list? I'll give you the exact date. I am at yesterday, 2.13 p.m. But I bounce around. I bounce around. So, like, if, if you're, like, in the chat and you submitted earlier, just let me know right now because I'll bounce back to yours. You know what I mean? Um, Let's see. So, is Mikai in the chat? Mikai, Mikai, Mikai. It's like M I K H A I. Mikai. Yeah, I should be. I should be good, bro. Mikai's next, and then after that, if Mikai's not here, then it's Tornik, which should be perfect timing, because she just came in, Bruh. Oh, you guys can't even hear this. Is mic so good, bro? Like, there's like a car alarm going off outside, but you can barely hear because the mic's actually a good quality mic. Um, boop, 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 boop. okay, Tornik, you still in the chat? Yeah, if you submitted 20 minutes ago, it's gonna be a little bit of a wait, honestly. Thanks, bro. I appreciated the mic. Yeah, I. The only thing I really need, I think, is is I just need what's it called a, a webcam. I'm just using my laptop mic cam right now, so it's like it looks fine on my end, but like once I've watched back my streams, I'm like, oh my gosh, like it kind of looks like shit. How long the wait? I have no idea, bro. I kind of just go go like in order and stuff like that, bounce around everything like that. Usually my streams are like six hours, which is crazy. Hey, ETO, what's good, bro? What's good, bro? If you want to hate, you can hate, bro. You're more than welcome to. This is my thing, bro. I like it's funny because people do like there's there's a, there's a certain group of people that do come in here and and have a little bit of hating once in a while, not often, but um, it's just funny because like then it's like you're just increasing my my like watch time. If you hate, it's a good thing. It's, it's pretty fire. I'm not gonna lie. The background makes it look better, to be honest. Yeah, I'm glad. Uh, shout out by the way, the person that two people one. The person that made the deadline logo and the people person that made the animation that is Cosmo. Oh, Cosmo. That dude is a producer with the worst producer tag of all time. He's in deadline and he made the animation here. I'll just show you guys it quick, like in, in all its glory. That's the animation right there. Shout out to him for making that and making the logo and shout out to Wally who helped me set up the entire stream and, and make it look like nice and stuff like that. I appreciate him a lot. He, he's the goat. No, Serge, don't worry. You, do, you are not too late. You know how I do it. I usually, what's it called? Usually I end up just bouncing around and stuff like that. So, like, I would never play somebody if they're not here. It kind of defeats the purpose. Like, you know what I mean? That's kind of, like, the whole point. I want people to be here. That way I can have a two-way conversation and stuff like that with them. And Ito, sorry, bro. It's such a bad habit. Like, I don't know. Like, like bro, like I said, like, my name was, like... Like zero X to seven, like double O seven, people would call me Ox, yo Ox, yo Ox. Especially like, and like I had to change it in uh in like video games and stuff, because in video games people would just like literally be like, yo Ox, yo Ox. It got like annoying after a while, you know what I mean? But uh yeah, that being said, I think Tornik literally did. Did he just like come in and then immediately leave when it's it's low key funny, only because like. I just like bro. I, just, I literally he came in and then I immediately saw his submission would have been next. Oh my gosh, Magic's in the chat. Yo yo yo, glad you're in, bro. I skipped over you. If you don't know, I I don't. I this might be your first stream. I'm pretty sure it is. So basically, I won't like play your stuff unless you're here. So whenever you come into the chat, let me know so that I can know if I like pass you so I can bounce around, etc., etc. But you're in the chat right now. I'm excited. I'm about to peep your submissions. My first time checking out your music on stream. Before I do that, like literally two seconds, bro. I need to like get a drink. I am like super parched right now. I'm like yapping so much that like I'm getting like cotton mouth, like de dehydrated. You know what I mean? If you're, if you know, you know, but uh, yeah, just give me like literally like a minute and I'll like be right back on. I just want to go grab water real quick. Cause I don't even have water with me. Bro did not prepare for stream properly.
Yo, yo, yo. What's up? What's up? I'm back. Sorry. <laughs> I really needed water, bro. I was getting super dehydrated. I got the classic uh, dad quote mug. This mug isn't huge. My hands are just tiny. What up? What up? How is the gym, bro? You have a good time at the gym? Never went to the gym in my life, other than like school gyms, to be honest. Uh, magic, you still in here? What's good, Magic? What's good, bro? No, this mug is so valid. It's big as hell. It's nice. It's good for streaming because I'm not. It's hard to finish all that water. You had curry before you went to the gym. That's crazy. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. Sounds like you're doing those squats where you have like the weights here and you'd be like, Ooh, and you just like shit yourself or something, bro. All right. But that being said, Magic, you're still in here. That's what's up. I'm about to play yours next. Oh my gosh, bro. Mike Sin is so annoying. The three legs. It's like I couldn't like pull in. Anyways, let's see what Magic brought to the table. First time, um, first time submission bro i also need to start saying like put some wins in the chat bro i i like need to get used to that i don't really say like i interact with chat but i don't like try to get people to like praise people's submissions so put some w's in the chat for all the people that submitted for, so far pretty good submissions all around so far and next one we got magic can you get mine after magic um i'll try it like basically i do it based on people that are here it actually works out really well because I'll end up like bouncing around and stuff like that to a point. Like I'll probably end up at yours within like a half hour. You know what I mean? Like just based on bouncing around like people that are in here. I play people that are in here and I don't play people that aren't. That way I bounce around, etc., etc. You get what I mean? That's the unk difference. But that being said, I am going to tap in with magic right now and see what bro brought to the table.
Oh, yo, yo. Thank you, Magic, for the submission. I appreciate it. Your first submission. It's nice to... It's always nice to have somebody new submit something so that I can give my thoughts and opinions and stuff like that and get to hear some new talent. So that being said, I do really like the vibe. I really like the um, the hi-hat, snare, everything like that, bounce and stuff like that. In terms of the 808s, I find you could add a little bit more variety to them. They kind of get a little bit repetitive over time throughout like the patterns and stuff like that even like having them hit like a couple different notes get, bounce them around a little bit more get a little bit more creative take take an extra like two three minutes just to to work on your 808 pattern make it a little bit different i don't know if you specifically did the drums uh, i saw there's two other producers on it it was also nori who has submitted before in gateway which i've i've heard the name pretty sure i've seen other people like collab with him on instagram posts and stuff like that so i do like it um 808s just could use a little bit of variation, um, a little bit more more bounce on the 808 part just because it gets a little bit repetitive. And then the other thing I would say, though, is uh, just the melody. There's a little bit too much like low end and kind of like like low mid in the melody aspect of, of the beat. Like it doesn't like mud it up, but it kind of like takes away from like the 808 hitting as hard in my opinion. Like it's, it's definitely something that you would want to like cut out and stuff like that. Like, uh, like definitely like a decent amount of the low end at like a, like 150 Hertz or something like that. And uh, also just a little bit of the low mid as well. Just, just like a, a little bit of a mix change, but I do definitely like hear the potential of like where the track could be. And it is fire. Like you, if, if you're new here, so like I pretty much critique everything unless I'm going to sit there and like be like, this is a 10 out of 10 beat. I, I will definitely give critiques and advice because if you don't get critiques and advice, you'll never get better. I've been making beats for 10 years. And if people were giving me critiques and like giving me advice and, and actually telling me that my beats weren't good and to improve them or telling me where to improve my beats, then it would have been like a lot bigger and, and a lot more fire a lot earlier on in my career. Like I would have went a lot farther, but it wasn't until maybe like, like two, three years ago, even maybe, maybe four, but like, I would say like three years ago around where people were like critical about my beats. I thought my beats were super fire until people just started like explaining like the things I need to do different to make them better. So yeah, I do appreciate the submission, bro. I'm looking forward to hearing more. I'm looking forward to hearing you like hearing your sound develop, hearing like uh, the little improvements here and there. There are people that submit and I watch them improve every week. That's why I do this. It's one of the, one of the reasons why I do it. I really love to see people progress and become successful. I basically want to keep doing these streams until everybody is just sending in 10 out of 10 submissions. And then, then I won't have a purpose anymore other than like, I mean, helping you guys connect dots and stuff like that. But you know what I mean? Like, I, I just really want to help, help you guys out at the end of the day. So that being said, everybody put some uh, W's in the chat for our boy magic. And I hope to hear more from you again, bro. I put sunglasses on, bro. It's so, it's so bright. The unk glasses. Unk has gone cop mode. Bro is the police officer. Hell yeah, bro. That's that's what it's all about, bro. It's uh, it's <laughs> it's what it's all about, bro. It, it's about feedback, bro. I want to be more than these other other channels, bro. I want I want to actually help people. I don't want to just exploit people. Like that's honestly most music slash beat reviews are just exploiting people. They're like, oh, skip the line for money, or like. Or I'll do, like, more for money. Like, it, it's so dumb, bro. Like, the, the, it's literally just trying to exploit people for for the sake of money. Meanwhile, they're monetized and they're making money off of, like, just doing the streams in general and getting ads and stuff. Like, I just want to basically get to the point where I make money off of ads and stuff. And then I can just make, make money off of streaming through that. I don't want to make money off of people that want to make it, that that should invest their money in other places, like... Like maybe invest your money in like um like a feature or like advertising. Like Instagram ads are our sauce. Like if you want really quick sauce, like one of our artists, Zori, uh, he really is a great example of this. Instead of like paying a promo page to post your stuff and then everyone's gonna be like, Oh, this mid, this mid, this mid. Like everyone hates. If you if people post if you post shit on a promo page, everybody hates. That's just how it is. We all know it. Let's be honest. We've probably done it ourselves. So you see some like random rapper, you see them on a promo page. Most of the time it's 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 not great anyways, like cuz 
uh, like great artists, I feel like don't wouldn't like like don't really know or like I feel like most great artists don't have money and, and stuff like that. Um, so like they will, don't have the money to do that. But yeah, like the best thing you can do, like Zori did it and it worked fantastically is just buy Instagram ad space. Find your demographic, find the people like like you can create a demographic in Instagram ads and you uh, basically can like set an amount of days and amount of money per day for advertising. And it shows you like an approximate reach of wh what it'll hit in the exact demographic. You can be like so specific about the type of people you want to find the music. And basically when you do that, have there be a link and the link brings them right to starting to stream your music like your project or a single you released if you do that you're actually going to get streams and make money if you like i guarantee if you take 100 dollars and spend it on instagram ad space it's going to go way farther than if you spend 100 dollars on like a, a, a like a, one of these media outlets to post your stuff because you're actually getting people to stream your music i don't i, I don't really know very many artists that will pay for like a, a media page to post them and actually get like a return on their investment. Look, look at music. Like, you know, if you're investing money into music, you need a return on it. Unless you're just investing stuff for fun. Like I did when I bought like all of this equipment at the time, like I just had a really good job and I just, I I've like, I, like I said, I started DJing when I was 10. I had like controllers. I always wanted. I, want, I had DJ stuff. I always wanted in my life. So like, I just bought everything. I have mostly DJ equipment more than really production stuff. Just, just for that reason. Like I bought every piece that I ever wanted. Ever since I started, I spent zero dollars on music related stuff. Hey bro, that's, that's fine. That's fine, bro. As long as you can make music, that that's what counts, bro. That's what counts. As long as you're making music, bro. I swear some people, some people have really good mixes. Like I, I have like the, the Yamaha HS eights or 80s i have the old ones which are better apparently but that being said like like i have these they're like 500 dollars each uh the only reason why i got them was because i got both of them from a dude used on kijiji and they're in perfect condition for for 500 550 or something so i literally got both of the monitors for like the price of one pretty much that's the only reason why i have these i did have monitors before too i think monitors are important but like look I'll tell you right now, there's people that like tell me they use a gaming headset. They literally say, I use a gaming headset to mix. And like some of those people have like the cleanest mixes I've heard on professional studio monitors, which is crazy. But um, yeah, no worries if you're at, at work and close alive. Not, not a big deal, bro. Um, appreciate your tuned in, Serge. Uh, and, and you know how it is, bro. I, in terms of the order, I got to make sure that I stick to the thing I've been doing since day one which is making sure that you know i go in order of people that are currently here so so you might be up soon but that being said again magic thank you for submitting also uh so you sent a video correct were you somebody was saying their name is molly sorry it's hard to keep up with chat and stuff like that you know i'm still newer to this but i will get better for sure but Okay, bet you're still in here. So you sent, did you end up sending, because you sent like pretty decently early. Did you end up sending like an audio file or is it just like the little video? Just because if it's a video, I'll play it. No problem. I just, I just wanted to make sure. Oh, you sent an audio file as well. Okay, I'll look for it. Um, Let's see. Bro, I work. I can't even wear the sunglasses, bro. I like put them on and then now I can't see my computer screen because everything else is so bright. Okay. I'm trying to find yours because I do not see this. Like I saw a little video, but I don't see a... Uh, excuse me. I don't see an actual audio file, so I'm just I'm just scrolling through. Is, is the... What's it called? Oh, there you are. There you are. Yeah. Is that the same thing that you sent the video and stuff? Because you submitted first and stuff like that. Okay, bet. Um, make all my music with AirPods. It sounds like a damn studio microphone. Yeah, bro. Hell yeah. AirPod, AirPod mic is pretty solid. There is a point where you have to upgrade. I mean, like somebody said earlier, like like with this mic, it's like, like it's very crispy. Like this is, I would recommend this, uh, the Rode NTA1. This mic, bro. This baby right here. I would definitely recommend it. 100 percent it is 
like top tier mic. I hate FL Studio, bro. Not gonna lie. I know it's crazy. I know it's crazy. I know everyone uses FL, so that's like super controversial. And I use like a goofy DAW. I use Machine, but that's from Native Instruments, bro. They they made like, you know, Contact. So. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to tap in with you right now, Molly. Let's see what you brought, bro. Bro got the 18 second type beat. I'm going to mute myself and then we're going to tap in. Oh my gosh. Jump scare. Bro, jump scared me. Yo, yo, bro, that initial sound effect fucking like genuinely like pierced my ears. Like I fucking jumped, bro. <laughs> it scared the shit out of me, bro. Like that initial thing. Um, it is very short, but like what vibe are you, were you going for with it? Just because I'm a little bit. We're going for like some Jersey. Like, is it like a meme beat? Like, I think you sent that in to the group chat like is that a meme beat or not nah, bro i just i just want to know yeah i don't know it's because i heard like one of your beats on your on your page i think and, and it seemed all right you were kind of like going for the memo type of shit that stuff I don't, I don't know bro it just seems like like do you have the grid on like like what do you cook on like how long have you been cooking up for Like how how long have you been uh cooking? In term like are you new? Three months? Oh, okay, so you're newer. Um listen bro, if I can give you a piece of advice, one hundred percent, it it's like sound selection super important. And definitely make sure that your grid is on, like your your stuff your uh, stuff is quantized and stuff like that. Um if you're using band lab, yeah, I would definitely like okay, look. Like deadline has like two kits we've dropped already we're dropping another one like like probably next week like a, like to this day i'm thinking like next monday but yeah our kids are really good bro i definitely would say tap in with our kids and they're free like i'm not it's not like a thing just just dm me and i'll send you them uh, i'll i'll like send you the thing just follow the steps whatever free kit um because you definitely need some better sounds and stuff like that 100 percent i know we have them and they're and they're like original they're not just like recycled stuff but they're also like good you can use them like they're practical like we have drums one shots everything like that so i definitely i definitely would love to to get those to you just so you can have some better sounds because it'll make a little bit of a difference and like i said definitely make sure that your stuff is quantized because it almost sounds like some of the parts are kind of like off beat and stuff like that uh with that beat I don't know if that's like the intention. I mean, it's like a really small snippet. So like, I, I just have to like, look at it at face value. You know what I mean? But, um, bro, definitely like, I would look forward to you submitting like more songs, like more beats. Oh, like as the weeks go on, you know what I mean? And just, I would love to see you improve every single week to a point where, you know, I can be like, wow, like you, you've really came a far way. That's, that would be really cool to see, you know, to see somebody starting so early and watch their whole career advance. That's why I like do, doing this too. I mean, you just started like three months ago. There's another guy, Agent Butters, that's in the in the Discord. If you know, you know. He's like very novice, very new to this, and, and it's the same type of thing. People have been helping him, labbing with him, helping him grow. Definitely something that you should uh, you should try out if you're if you be active in the Discord and stuff like that. We have a lot of good people that will 100% help you. And I'll help you too, bro. I'll always give you advice every week you submit. I will give you some feedback and, and tell you how to improve things. I'd love to hear that improvement as the weeks go on. So I appreciate your submission, bro. It means a lot to me. That being said, we are going to move on. Let's see. I got to like bounce back. So is Mikai or Tornik in here or no? Because like Tornik came in and then left. And then, yeah, like, I just want to make sure that I don't miss anybody. Yeah, if you're in the chat right now, can you just let me know? Just like, uh, like post like a, a W for 
uh, Molly's like first beat and stuff like that. But yeah, just let me know that you're in here. That way I can kind of like scroll through and try to find yours next. Just want to make sure that I get people. You know what I mean? I'll make sure I get to everyone that's here. All right. We got ecstasy. Or yeah. X, is, is that how you say it? ecstasy? Jtron. Stun of Vita. Surge. Storm Boy. All right. Dial tone. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see who on this list would be next. All right. I got it. Oh, it's pronounced sticky. Oh, my bad, bro. I don't know why. I thought it was like ecstasy. Just because it started with an X. You know what I mean? But yeah, bro, I'd love to see you improve, by the way. Um, definitely keep submitting, bro. It'll be super dope to watch you improve and evolve uh, excuse me oh my gosh like the sun is so bright bro like look at that bro it looks like i'm like you guys ever watch the boys bro it's like i feel like starlight or like that one person that other girl they'd be like whoosh, whoosh. yeah ecstasy would be like a cool producer name but i think i think it's been been around um, that being said, so let's see. I'm going to keep scrolling through. Oh yeah. Yeah, I did. I did. Sorry. J Tron, you still in here? No, not bro. It said Stormfront. Hell no, bro. Not Stormfront. Not Stormfront. Like the season three, this crimson, crimson bitch or whatever her name is. <laughs> if, if you guys haven't watched the boys, by the way, that fucking show is so goaded. I, I, Bro, it took me so long. I finally got my girlfriend on it, and, like, she loves it. I was playing Minecraft with her last night, too. That was super cool. Like, survival on easy. Bro, easy is not easy, but we got lucky. Like, the first world we spawned was us, and then the second world had, like, a village, and then I just started building at the village and, and stuff like that. I don't know. Minecraft's wholesome, bro. I swear. Bro, bro, actually, just gave away such a huge spoiler. Yeah, don't get if you watch. Like, I'm don't tell me anything. Uh, like, I'm on the last episode of season three. Like, that's the last episode I have, and then I have season four. Don't spoil the like anything about season three, please. I'll be like so heartbroken because I literally like watched it up until that point, and then we I just got back on it and like convinced my girlfriend to watch it. I was watching it myself the whole time, like I for so long season four so good hell yeah bro don't don't spoil it though please i'm so excited bro i'm so excited i had to sacrifice watching the last episode tonight to do this stream so don't say i don't do anything for you guys okay first half of pulp fiction bro how the hell are you watching the first half of movie not finishing it how do you watch a start a movie how do you start a movie bro how do you start a movie and not finish it that's crazy to me that's actually nuts when can you see ant um, I don't know. I want to do stream with her soon. I think it would be like super funny to have her because she doesn't like make beats and uh, like she she's like she listens to, like fucking like country music. I got her into rap a little bit, but but uh she's, she's like a she likes Taylor Swift and shit. I like bro Taylor Swift is fire, bro. No n no lie. Um, not uh, like like Taylor Swift is actually a good artist in my opinion. I think she's she's super fire and has talent. Like I'm not like a Swifty. She's not a Swifty either, but like I definitely think she's talented but yeah like i would love to have her on the stream soon maybe when it's like bigger more submissions just because it'd be funny to like get her feedback because she doesn't make beats or do anything and i would like give her the mic first taylor swift's goaded bro taylor dude this the production on Ta i think it's just like i really like the production especially on the last album it was really good the production on that last album was really cool dude this guy there's an um anti-hero in that song bro it's actually crazy one of the producers he went to an old clock shop in nyc and sampled a bunch of the clocks and like like them churning and like dinging and stuff and it's like the foley in the background of the fucking beat and that's when i started to appreciate taylor swift because i was like that's actually like and i get it's not her but it's just really interesting because it does it's like the theme of that album revolves around kind of like time and stuff like that 
so it was super cool. Like it's actually it's, it's, like I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like the 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 producers that she has making making these beats and stuff is really interesting because it's something I never noticed until I watched like the breakdown of it, and then I was like, yo, I was like low key, like these producers be cooking, bro. They're doing really unique shit that like makes it stand out. So once I started to like actually hear how much work was put into the production, I started to like actually appreciate her music a lot more. It is the little things because it's like in the background. It's literally a Foley texture of just like clocks. And it's like the, the the album, like that's like the theme of the album. Like the thing is, bro, for me, I love albums. Like I love studio grade albums, like mainstream albums, just because of the amount of work that's put into them. The only like underground album that I've seen, uh, like the same amount of effort being put into as as these uh, albums is like it's like that new Tekka album that came out last year. That was like. Like that was at a professional level, in my opinion. Same thing with the Yeet album, but like the Tech album was like one of the first I really heard from the underground, where like the mixing and and everything was done. Like shout out to Rio for doing all the transitions. As a DJ, bro, I fucking love that shit. You know what I mean? We click noise and my beats now as a snare. That's kind of gas, bro. That kind of might hit. We type beat. You don't like huge production on albums. Okay, bet. Yeah, yeah. GM, we'll, we'll spam your name for sure. Yeah, Tekka's mainstream, I know, but he's not like mainstream, mainstream, though. He's not like, like, he just, he just got a plaque. He's like mainstream, but not like, I don't know. Like, I, I just mean like, how do I explain this? But that's what I mean. It's like a mainstream quality album. That's kind of like my point is like, like an artist needs to get at a level where an album gets to that point. Like, it, like, that's my opinion. I think there are, like, if they lock in with artists, bro, that or producers, that's one of the things that um people have been saying lately. I agree 100% is, like, I'm glad that, like, I'm blessed that the artists and Deadline do this. But when when it comes down to people making, like, if, an, if a producer is giving you a critique or, or if you're an artist, producer's telling you to do something to make it sound better, they're, like, nine times out of ten completely right and you should take their advice. Like 100%. Like producers, they know what they're talking about, bro. They 100% know what they're talking about. If they're saying, oh, you got to tweak this. Oh, you got to do this. Oh, if you hit this differently, if they're telling you that as an artist, you 100% should take that into account and do it because like producers listen to music differently than the average listener and they can they can give you the advice that will change your song from just being like everyone else's to being like a really big hit. And the thing is producers will be your number one fans. So like if you're taking advice from the producer that you're working with and they give you that advice, they have that whole audience of producers that's going to hear that. And it's going to hear that difference because they have that different ear and they're going to hear that subtle thing that they told you to do. And they're going to be like, that's what makes the song so good. It's the subtle things like uh dial tone was saying, it is the little things at the end of the day. But what's good, Eric, bro? What's good, Eric? My king, bro. Eric, Eric, bro, never misses, bro. Bro's the CEO of Placement Beats, for real. That being said, sorry for the delay, Jaytron. I want to make sure, Jaytron, you're still, you're still in chat, right? I just want to make sure, bro. I, I be yapping, bro. You know, that's, but that's me, bro. If, if people didn't like, they wouldn't tune in. That's how I feel, right? Like, if I, if I just notice, like, people not, it's not like I just like yap about random shit. I, I pretty much do try to help people surge competitions. Um, we, I did host one with Zori shout out to Zori. We did a acapella challenge. She had an acapella and then a bunch of producers made beats around it. We had like over 35 submissions. It was awesome. Really good vibes. That was the first one I'm doing. I'm doing a second one for people that are in here that weren't here at the beginning. I'm doing a second beat competition. It's just a beat battle. It's going to be super fire with uh this goes hard alex i'm doing it for him trying to help him out if by the way if any of you guys do want to do that like if you want me to host a battle for you guys like of any type i'm more than willing to do it you know me like that's that's how i am like i want to help everyone out so that's what i'm doing with him i'm trying to grow his stuff like that um if i have anyone for songs not right now definitely want to do like uh song battles as i grow it's something i'm considering doing soon i think for the first song battle, I probably would just make it like like a free thing, like you know what I mean, like just just with the community, just to like vibe out and see who really is bringing the best song. So yeah, like that's definitely something that I want to consider in the future. You know, it's just gonna come as it comes. Pause. 
But yeah, yeah, definitely something I want to do in the future. I want to do a lot. Like I, I actually locked in with this dude, John Knight. I followed him for like actually over five years. He's like the best video editor slash director I've ever seen in my life. Works with Smoke Perp and like a bunch of other people. Uh, like even done commercials. His editing skills are like unmatched. Like I actually don't think anyone's better. Like even Cole Bennett, like not better. Um, and I got him to like once once I really start growing and I get a lot of artists in in the community, I want to do music video reviews with him, uh, which I think will be super interesting because he actually can give like real advice and, and tips and stuff like that. He's he's a creative genius, so I'm looking forward to that, bro. Looking forward to doing a lot of stuff, uh, hosting a lot of things for people. You know, it's like I, I want to put everyone on, bro. That's that's why I'm doing this. I wouldn't if I didn't care about the community or want to help the community. I wouldn't even be doing this. You know what I mean? That That's what it is at the end of the day. It's it's because I care and I genuinely love music and art, bro. I, I genuinely think there's too many talented people. They don't get recognition, bro. I say it all the time. I know it sounds like a broken record, but it's how I feel. I'll say it for like. Say it till the day I die, bro. There's too much talent that does not get recognition. I want to be the one to grow, to be able to get to a point where I can put everyone on. That being said, Jtron, my apologies about the delay. I'm going to mute myself now. I'm going to stop yapping. We're going to listen to any mini miny mo catch a tire by the toe. Any, any mini miny mo. Okay, we're going to listen to the one with Brando, the pink lady, 117 BPM. I'm going to mute myself and let's see what you're cooking up, bro. I swear, I swear that Jtron drum bounce and mix is so elite, bro. I think that sound like that. Cause you sent another beat last time that had that like the Afro type of bounce and stuff, bro. This sound is actually insane, um, dude. I literally think that that shit is so fire, bro. Like it's crazy. You have like a really really nice mix. You have a super cool backstory too, bro. I I really fuck with you, bro. No no lie, bro. I have not heard a mix yet or a miss yet from you. It's super like consistent. You got like really good drum browns. Like whatever stash of drums that you have is like super goaded and and you mix everything like perfectly. Like every single thing drum in your arrangement has its own like place, its own spot. Which I really, really like, bro. It's actually like such such a consistently good vibe from you. Even the labs you sent back with me were super dope, bro. 
I can I I'll consistently I don't think I could ever not give Jaytron the unk cosign, bro, because because it's always it's it's always really good, bro. Like this dude, this dude's really, and he's working hard. Yeah, you guys, I'm glad you guys are following him, bro. He's definitely 100 percent somebody you guys should be keeping your eye on, because like I swear, J Jaytron's gonna be big, bro. This dude, this dude's like drums are actually immaculate. It's it's beautiful, bro. Especially the Afro shit, bro. I really think that could be like your sound. It's like you can do the other stuff because I've heard it. I I've heard it. I've heard it on. Like my loops and then on other submissions and stuff, you can 100% do the other bounce and stuff. I just think you have a really, really, really good perk bounce talent that like most people don't even really be using their perks and their beats unless they're using like the cash counter or some like stupid shit. But you really like do use all these like uh, little perk slash like fully type of sounds that make your beats like really stand out from, from other people and stuff like that. It's just It just makes it that much more bouncy. So I really, really fuck with it. Yeah, literally cash counter, bro. It's, it's I mean, it's it's cool. It works not not as often as people use it, I would say. But yeah, Jtron, awesome submission, bro. Put some wins in the chat for Jtron, bro. This is a go. I swear, I swear. I fuck with Jtron heavy, bro. I'm looking forward to getting more work with him, getting more work with the team with him, and 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 locking in on a whole other on a whole other level. Honestly. Bro deserves the recognition. Bro deserves the talent, bro. He, he's so talented, bro. He's he's super talented, and he definitely deserves the recognition. Oh, I just, bro, I just put them on. Like, the, do you see the sun, bro? I can't even like see myself. The sun is so crazy. That is the only, like the 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 daytime streams are are pretty lit. Like, I it's a vibe. I just really don't like the sun, bro. I, it's like. I love the sun if I'm outside and enjoying it, but it's literally just like going through my fucking window and piercing into my soul right now. Uh, yeah, good old ice water though. That being said, I appreciate your submission, Jaytron. That shit was fire. Is Kai in the chat? Is I love you, Kai, in the chat? I saw him earlier. I want to make sure he is still in because he would be up next. Also, if you're in the chat right now and you just joined within the past like couple minutes, maybe like five, ten minutes, just uh, like drop a, drop a comment right now, like here. Just say you're here. Let me know. That way I can check if I like had skipped over you to find somebody else that's currently here. Oh, my gosh. It's Fazo. Mixing King. What's good, Serge? You're still in here. That's what's up. We're going to keep running through it, bro, for sure. Just want to know who's here. That way. If Kai's here, I can play Kai. But I don't know if Kai still is here. But if he isn't, then I got Jay next. And I'm pretty sure Jay's in here, right? Like, like your name's just Jay. I believe you are here. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure, bro. I always get confused. Like I know it's. I, I was. I was making sure because I was like, I'm pretty sure it's you, because the uh, the we. The we dude, which is hilarious. Um. All right, nightmare. Where do you submit? It's in the Discord. Uh, deadline Discord. Be in music review. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Next, we're gonna be playing Jay. Do you? Which one do you want me to play? Just the first one. Is that cool with you? As you submitted three, I'm just doing one, one each type of thing. Magic plug, I got you, bro. I got you. You tell me which one. I got it. I'm about to load it up right now. I'm gonna mute myself. We're gonna tap in with Jay. See what bro's cooking.
Hey, yo. Unk hit that. Hell yeah. No, I loved it, bro. I loved it. It was perfect. It reminds me of like the beats that I was making, like the pre 2020 era. I swear it's like the pre cymatics era before cymatics started dropping kits. I feel like that's when kits really started to change, but that's like that perfect Zay trap noise, bro. The mix was like really nice, bro. I really like that. It literally brought me back. Like it made me, made me think of like Migos and shit. I just hear it like, like the whole Migos team on that bitch, bro. For real. I really liked it, bro. No, the mix, that's perfect, bro. Because if you didn't mix, it's just like, it's just the leveling was solid. The samples are solid. That's the thing, though. Even if, if you didn't level, it just kind of like proves the point that those like older sty style kits, just like the volume levels were like perfect on those. Compared to like kits now, they're all just like maxed out volume. You have to like, like fucking level every single instrument you put in, basically. Unk just consumed the caffeine pill. Alert. Alert. Unk consumed the caffeine pill. I'm just playing, bro. <laughs> no, I do like it. I like it, bro. It's good. It's good. Like, like nice leveling and shit like that. Nice, uh, nice vibe. I like, like, no complaints, bro. It, for, for the, for the vibe that you were going for, it's 100% there. It's 100% there. Like, it sounds just like those. The drums are good, bro. It is really that, that Zay type of vibe. That's like drums everybody has, but not people haven't been using for years type shit. That's how I look at it. That's how I felt about it personally. That being said, put some dubs in the chat for that beat. It was really cool to hear like a, like a Migos back to the trap type type shit. Like the, the old, old Migos, bro. The Bando Migos. I don't know if I'm too old and you guys don't know, but if you know if you know the Bando era of uh, Migos, that was like that was like the best era. That was so goaded, bro. Way before like culture and all that. That was my favorite era of Migos. I actually think they were like the best rap group ever at that time. Like still like just from those songs, not even from the new stuff. Migos peaked at like bad and bougie, in my opinion. Yeah, no, the old Egos, Migos era was, like, actually crazy. Might have been 10. That's crazy. Yeah, you guys are young. Like, y like I'm not going to lie. Like, it's super cool. Like, all the music that comes out now. It's super fire, bro. There's actually insane artists. But I feel bad for, like, all the younger producers that, like, totally missed out on, like, the, the like, 20... I would say, like, 2014 to 2016 era. Like the the world star slash SoundCloud era, where like people only blew up, bro. It was like you didn't blow up with social media presence at all. It's like the way you blew up was you got a world star video or you just randomly hit the algorithm on SoundCloud. Those were the best days, bro. That's when the talent really came out, in my opinion. That's when like it was like peak, like like every single artist that blew up was talented. Now it's all about content and all about like like goofy videos and memes and shit. So it's it, the since the playing field has changed since it's not getting your music video on like a like a the best media source at the time or getting like just pushed by SoundCloud algorithm. Like it's so hard to for artists to blow up now. You have to like make content and shit. And like a lot of artists ain't doing that, bro. A lot of artists don't have that. That was a trip, bro. Bro, bro, been listening. I didn't even tap until like grade nine. Like, I mean, listen to Kanye and stuff like that. My dad was like a decent Kanye fan. I was like the only rapper I think he liked. Bro, my dad put me on uh, the 808 and Heartbreaks album. He bought it for me on my <laughs> iPod. I remember like I, it was so different from like the other music that I heard and stuff like that. It's trippy, man. It's trippy. Anyways. Jay, again, appreciate the submission. Uh, did Kai end up coming back to the chat, or is he just, like, still not here? I know people end up coming back and stuff like that. So, so right now, who I have is Ketra, Pablo Blessed, Dial Tone, who I know is here. So, if Ketra, Pablo Blessed isn't here, Dial Tone is up next. I know you've been waiting, bro. 
I appreciate you tuning in and being in the stream for this long. I hope you stay even after I critique and everything like that, but it's super dope to have people like tapped in. I'm glad I'm able to, to retain viewership. If that makes sense, you know, like I'm able to actually not be like boring or this is fire. This is trash type shit. 2021 SoundCloud era wasn't as good as the old SoundCloud era though. Okay, bad, bad, bro. Have a have a good dinner. I appreciate you tuning in, bro. For real. Bro, so is is dial tone still in the chat? Bro, this sun is gonna obliterate me. Oh my lord, bro. Oh what's good, dial tone, bro? We finally made it to you. I believe this is uh, the first time you've been here. I I don't. I might be completely wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is your first submission. I try. To, I try to my best to like remember every single person that submits. Build like an actual connection with them. But if not, if this is your first submission, that's awesome. I appreciate you submitting 100%. Super dope, and I'm looking forward to hearing what you're bringing to the table, bro. It's always interesting to hear a a new artist or producer so that being said song is called shredder on soundcloud i'm gonna go i'm gonna mute myself and i'm gonna tap right in Yo, 
That was Dial Tone. Definitely some different stuff from what we normally hear here on the stream. I really like it. I, I really like the vibe and the stuff you were going for. Definitely like the vibe, the patterns, and the, the progressions are, are 100% there. Like, I wouldn't uh, change anything about the progression and stuff like that or, like, the vibes. Um, my critiques are, like, I think, like, the, the huge one is your baseline has, like, no low end at all. Like, it's just, like, there's no, there's, like, mid-low and, like, no low end. And then your low end's only in the kick. And in terms of the mixing, it just, like, because of that, it's just, it could hit, like, 10 times. Like, if you sent me the, the bass stem of, like, the whole stem of that song, if you sent me the bass and I just threw low end and, like, some analog distortion on it just to make it a little bit more, like, heavier and, like, wider. Because it just sounds, like, very, like like uh thin and and uh, like it's like the vibe is there it sounds like it should be so hard but like the low end isn't uh compensating that like it's got to be like there you got to change something in that baseline like i can i literally pull up an example of like how i've done it in the past just give me one second so that was my only thing and then the other thing is i i don't remember what it's called i think it's ducking you have it ducking your vocals um like the the kick and stuff like that but it's it's like your vocals at the beginning were like a little bit too quiet because of the ducking and then your vocals were a little bit more like able you were able to hear them a lot better but still the ducking is a little bit too strong like you can definitely have it so that it has that like bounce in it but i think you need to like dial it down a little bit just because i want to be able to like like i know like there's an aspect of it to not hear the words perfectly but i do want to be able to hear the lyrics a little bit better because like overall like the vocal performance and stuff was really good it was just kind of like the ducking mix and then that low end and just give me a second because i want to show you what i mean because i did it with with a specific beat where i took the uh melody from warheart if you know warheart he's uh he's fire as fuck um so i took the melody from him and i like sped it up and stuff like that like way faster than it's supposed to be but i took the the baseline stem and i added like a lot of uh like low end growl to it and uh and also like an analog distortion and that turned out to be like pretty decent hold up let me just find it quick just so you, like i want you to have like an audible reference of what i'm trying to say basically so Okay, so this is what I mean. I'll, I'll mute myself and like just listen to the bass line of when the drums come in and how much fuller the bass line makes the, uh, makes the song, if that makes sense. Because like the bass line, it's just so full. It kind of like charges everything up. So, so I'll play this just for reference and then, uh, and then just, just like the bass part. I won't play the entire beat. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying, like, like in terms of, oh, I'll just make sure the mic volume's good. That's what I'm saying in terms of, like, mixing, like, see how, like, the bass is just more gritty? Because that, that would, like, fit the vibe more, and, I, and it's, like, the kick is still there, but it's, like, the bass is, like, wide. Like, it's super wide and, like, distorted to a point where, like, it just, it's, like, the fill in the mix. It just felt like the mix was a bit, like, there's too much open space in the mix of that song. You know what I mean? Yeah, like I know it's like a it's a random beat pull up, but like that's kind of like the reference because I could hear the the bass having that same type of um, like aggression and low end and stuff like that. Also, Jangy, basically, you know how it is, bro. I always make sure that you're in the chat, so 
you came in, you would have been the first person, but then you left. Uh, if you're still in right now, I'll play yours next. But uh, let's put some dubs in the chat for Dial Tone because bro is definitely fire, and I 100% see the vision in what you're doing. It's definitely some uh, more like original type stuff. You know what I mean? Like it's something it's something 100% different, and I like that, bro. I like it. I would look forward to like hearing you develop on the sound more and, and hearing where you come from. I don't know if you're uh, like if you're making the beats too and stuff. If you're doing all of it, bro, that's super cool, and uh, I would love to see it develop more. Definitely, if you want, like, bro, I'll just because like the sauce, bro, for that for the uh, distortion is, I swear, bro, machines, uh, stock distortion, bro, the the DAW I use, bro, it's actually sauce. But yeah, of course, bro. Yeah, I'd love to hear more, bro. Keep sending stuff in. I'm glad to have you in the in the community and stuff like that. But that being said, Jengi, if you're still in the chat right now, we'll speed. We'll go right back up to your submission. You know, I make sure everyone's played. I just make sure you're in the chat. That's how I do it. So if you're in the chat, you gotta let me know. Let me know your name, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Are you still far away, Fazo? Bro asks if he's so far away after I scroll all the way back up to the beginning. I don't think you would be that far away because of the amount of people that are in here and stuff like that. I think you might be all right. But yeah, yeah, of course. Of course, Dial Tone. Definitely keep submitting, bro. I want to hear more. I want to hear more 100%. I want to hear more of what uh, what you're cooking, bro. I want to hear like every week. You know how it is. Um, But Jengi, still in the chat. Just want to make sure. I'll play it right now. I got it. I got it on standby. Oh yeah, for sure. Fazo, just like consistently let me know when you're tapping in and I'll be like, oh, okay. Like we passed over you type shit. But that being said, okay, Jengi, I'm about to tap in, about to mute my mic up. Let's see what you brought to the table today. Can't wait to hear it. Yeah, so I like the beat a lot. I thought the beat was super cool. Um, I like your your vocals as well. Um, I think basically to critique your your end of it, like the beat solid, the mix is is pretty good. Like the mix on your vocals is like there's just like two tweaks you need to make. I think with the mix, I think that there, there's a little bit too much like high end. Like it's it's like a little bit like what do you call it? It's a little bit like hard on the ears because of like the the high end in your voice, which like so I would say, but then at the same time, um, it's hard to hear you like what you're saying and stuff like that, like because of um, 
because the vocals are too quiet. So so what I would say with like the mixing of your vocals, uh, turn down some of the high end because it's a little bit harsh, and then turn up your vocals. Just turn up the, the vocals in general because basically... Um, bro, I just blanked out. Yeah, just, that's pretty much what, what I would say you need to do, though, 100%. And then the feature was pretty good. Uh, m mixing was a bit like... Like, it feels like there should have been a little bit of a gate. It's almost like you could kind of like hear the background of, of where he was like cooking. Like there wasn't very good, uh, like sound insulation or something like that. Sounds like he's recording. Like, like it, it's not like the craziest thing, but like, I definitely did notice it on these monitors. And I noticed it too, like, um, with like other songs I've heard too, just where people aren't using enough of a noise gate. So you can kind of like just hear what's going on around them. But, uh, like I did like the vibe 100%. Uh, the feature went, hard like like that sport uh vvs guy like is that the name let me see yeah sport vvs like he he went pretty hard like he was going in um it was just kind of like the mix on his vocals could have been like a little bit cleaner just it was a little bit too like it almost sounded like there was like no effects on it which like it's fine but like you need a little bit of something you know what i mean uh but that being said bro like a pretty good submission like i i like it a lot i really like you on that type of beat i'd like to hear more stuff on on that type of beat i really like your vocals overall bro i think you have like honestly jengi i think you have like really really good vocals you just like need to have some like a really good engineer and i feel like you could like really go places just because you know like everybody can can rap and and do stuff like that or do different voice inflections but like it's not frequent that people can like actually sing so the fact you can sing it just you need a good engineer for it. it's kind of like the same thing like like we have cozy on the team and it's like if we could get like a really really good engineer for him it would just be like so dope because he can sing like clover too like clover and when he engineers his stuff like it, it sounds good you need to like know what you're doing in terms of mixing i don't know if he engineers himself but like uh yeah 100 percent anyways that being said bro thank you for the submission i appreciate it I, I i appreciate you submitting every week bro that's i think that out of all of the stuff you sent me is probably one of my favorites so that's dope bro i appreciate it that being said i'm gonna move around see where we're at see who else could be here um if you're in the chat by the way just let me know that way if i pass you i can i can go back you know what i mean just give me that heads up what's good colin what's good colin you know you you know the rules bro I, i'd be listening order like from what i'm aware if storm boy is still in here then storm boy would be next Stitch Face, I don't think is in here next. Then there's the guy, Sticky, that I mistakenly called Ecstasy. Uh, Killa, Gian, Monty, um, Jeezy, You, Farah, Jello Music, Surge, Sick, Sicko, Stunna, and that's produced by me, Hellboy. Okay, yeah, like I'm, I'm just keep going down the list, but. That's that's the order. So, just so you guys are aware. Okay. Bro, got to bounce soon. I'll try. I'll, I'll try to. I'll try to be a little bit, a little bit quicker. Okay. All right. That being said, Stormboy, you said you're still in here. That's what's up, bro. I'm hyped to hear what you submitted, bro. Let's jump right into it.
Yo. Yo, what's good, bro? That was, um, that was firework. What's good, Cart? Ugh. Eric, what's good? Yeah. It's been a good vibe, bro. Cullen, it's been, it's been a good vibe. But, um, yo. So, my thoughts, my thoughts on that, Stormboy. Or Stormboy. <coughs> oh, my gosh, bro. I'm like developing a lisp during stream i'm what are we getting a wisp right now somebody please call 911 anyways um yeah storm boy so i really really liked it bro i thought the mixing was super nice i really liked the balance it was it was cool there's a lot of it was good good progression and stuff like that i'm gonna critique one thing though 100 the 808 pattern gets super old super fast probably within the first 30 seconds the 808 just being the same and then it kind of goes on the entire time i think a better approach would have um either kept it as like four like a four bar loop but then had like different uh in the arrangement having different sections where where the 808 switched up like different four bars like do 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 like some like just for certain parts just to give it that or just making the whole thing into an actual full eight bar pattern because so i just feel like you could have um went up other notes it's one of the things that uh will, would really make a difference in that because i really like it like just having the 808s go up onto like higher notes and just like ha ha getting a little bit more creative I, I, i'm gonna say it over and over again but like uh putting like an extra three to five minutes into your 808 patterns will make like such a big difference like whether it be the 808 switching in certain parts of the arrangement or just like making the 808 pattern like really clever but you definitely like that's the one thing i always tell people like you need 808 variation throughout your your like beat like it needs to like switch it can't be the same 808 pattern the whole time where it kind of gets old unless it's just like one of those like two bar loop beats that are just like really crazy over the top stuff like that but yeah yeah like the 16 bar i would even say like like eight bar depending depending on how quick you're trying to like move it and switch it up and stuff like that but i did really like it like the mix was really good like like it's not like i didn't like the beat or anything like that it is just like the one critique like i there's always almost always like one thing that can be changed and for me i think the beat that would take that to a whole other or the thing that would take that beat to a whole other level is 100 percent just having that variation in the 808s like having the 808 switch up come in maybe do like a little bit of like a like part like just like some just spice it up a little bit with the 808s because it's it's cool but it gets old fast just because the the pattern's a bit too simple and that, there's nothing wrong with simple 808 patterns like you could even have a different part of it be simple too but it's just it just for a four bar to be the same consistently it's it's uh it gets repetitive and it, and it takes away from the uh overall listener retention of the beat if that makes sense but yeah, overall, bro, good vibe, good vibe. I appreciate the submission. I, I hope to hear some more from you, bro, because you're definitely fire. Like I, I definitely, I definitely hear the the p potential and everything like that. Like, cause it's not even like potential. Like it's a good beat, bro. It's not a bad beat at all. It's just, it's just like a small thing that you can tweak and hopefully in the future I can hear some beats where you do that. You know what I mean? So yeah, I appreciate the submission. Put some dubs in the chat for Storm Boy. Appreciate that. That being said, we got Stitch if he's here sticky which i'm pretty sure sticky's still here he would be next up phaso bro we're running through this is there's so many submissions um we will get there bro i promise we will get there for you let's see yeah phaso bro bro said let me be the first one sent it at 420 bro sent it at 420 for real that's funny as fuck bro sent the fucking thing at 420 that's that's hilarious lucky um okay bet okay sticky i'm gonna play you next i just need to take a quick bathroom break bro i'm gonna be like be like two seconds max um i'll just like play um a beat while i'm gone or something i don't i don't know bro hold up let me see random beat where's the random beat Just so you guys aren't bored. Here. Okay. I mute myself and go take a piss. I'll be back and we'll listen to Sticky.
All right, guys, it's your turn. <laughs> what's you, what's your beat? What's your music critique on on that fucking beat or the beat that played before? I'm putting you guys. You guys are the the critiquers. What do you guys think? Those those are old beats, by the way. But they're both solo. But like, they're pretty old. The second one I like a lot. The first one's just generic, bro. It's just some basic filthy shit. I'm gonna be real. There's nothing special about the arrangements. The quick beats, kind of like whatever. But the second one I really like. I really like that the one that was just playing. <sighs> Yo, Stitch Face is here, bet. Perfect timing, Stitch, bro. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, first one was generic, bro. First one is just like it, I swear the first one I think is just a fucking like it's like one eight oh eight the whole time. Like literally it's just one eight oh eight. It's a board it's like literally just the most basic ass beat. It's just like I was like, let's make a filthy tight beat and make it super generic. But the second one's hard, bro. I love that second one. It's so good, bro. It's like one of my favorite eight oh eight bounces and I did really put a lot of effort into the arrangement of just like having, you know, like the claps out some parts. Just like uh Constructing and deconstructing the beat throughout. I love arrangements like that. But let's go, Stitch Face. You're next, bro. Because I was about to play Sticky, but you're right before Sticky, and you got a lab with Golly. Talk about timing, bro. Bro, I, like, have to burp. Um, uh, there we go. I literally can't force myself to burp. I know so many people can. Like, so many people. Like, everybody I know can. I literally can't. I can't force myself to burp. So, if I have to, like, burp, but I can't burp, I'm like, Ugh. Like, I literally can't, like, fuck it. I, I'm, like, struggling. It's like, I have the worst feeling ever. I'm like, oh, my gosh. And it's just like, I have to wait till my body is, is fully prepared to burp. So, if you ever see me, like, on a stream, like, Ugh, just don't worry. I'm not having a heart attack, bro. I'm not that old. Yet, that being said, bro, let's tap in Stitch Face. I'm about to turn up the mic, turn up the volume. We're about to vibe out. I'm excited to hear what you brought today, bro. You consistently be posting that heat and uh, beat and review music review section. Bo
Yo, I'm, a- I'm actually an idiot, bro. I forgot to turn on the like the the preamp, and I was like, "Why the fuck is the mic not working?" Yo, yo. So that was fire as fuck, bro. Uh, in terms of drum bounce, like ten out of ten. Drum mixes, like ten out of ten. Really, really liked it, bro. You're consistent with that, bro. It's kind of funny. Like I swear, like it's like I kind of feel like there's like specific people that submit to stream and that are also in deadline that like their drum you you guys just have like such good drums you're definitely one of those people 100 percent, 100 percent, one of those people uh with a with a really really good drum bounce and shit like that it's it's, it's totally a vibe really nice uh drum mix and, and sound selection as well and bounce um with the I really like like the entire vibe of it. Like like my only critique honestly is just um like the melody and stuff is a little bit like low passed and stuff like that. So like I feel like if you let it take up more of the high end of the mix and just cuz you can hear it's like all these like subtle little um what's the fucking term? Like there's like a soundscape aspect to like the melody and stuff like that. If you let that like expand a little bit in the higher frequencies as well, I think it would just fill in the beat a lot more just to have that like higher frequency and kind of like widen it a little bit. Um, And just like maybe the volume of it being turned up a little bit as well. Um, And other than that, like maybe just like a baseline for like a certain part, but I actually think it could work without the baseline. Like I agree with, uh, Cullen on on the baseline like it would be like a cool addition but i think literally if you just like uh expanded that like the highs and stuff like that i think it would it would be super fire but yeah overall bro i really i really like it yeah let it let it breathe bro that's actually like perfect way to perfect way to describe it um what's good what's good sleepy big unk big unk in the building Oh, oh i have no muscles bro yeah, big unk in the building. What's good? What's good, Hellboy? Uncatron, bro, Uncatron is probably the fucking funniest shit. I saw you <laughs> send it earlier, but I was talking about like a serious situation, so I didn't want to acknowledge it. But Uncatron is actually so hard, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Pause. No, it's a it's a fire name though. It's a fire name. Um, hell yeah, Stitch though. Put some dubs in the chat for Stitch, bro. That shit was fire. I was vibing the fuck out. I was vibing out. I look like DB Cooper. Yeah, the whole time, bro. Turn, guys. Number fifteen. DB Co- Cooper is actually the underground unk. He jumped out of a plane in blah blah year, etc. etc. Blah blah blue. Gotta go poop. Just kidding. Anyways, uh, that being said, I did not play your beat, Hellboy. You know how I do this. I. Bro, you're literally not you're literally here, bro. You know how I do the live streams. I don't I don't play unless you're here. Okay, Sticky, you still in the chat, bro? Again, appreciate you, Stitch Face. Love the submissions every week. Haven't really missed yet. You haven't like sent anything that I'm just like, nah, this isn't good. So I fuck with that. Unibomber looking bro. It's sunny. It's sunny in Canada. Always sunny. Not really, but what's good? What's good, bro? Oh my gosh! Yo, did you, did you guys? I just fuck with the, I just fuck with the fit, bro. NYC shirt. Jesus Christ. Toque, got the toque. Got got the cop glasses. Got the got the got the black true religion jeans. Unk, Unk got that drip, bro. <laughs> Unk really from the Bronx is actually crazy. That's wild, bro. Yes, I'm really... Yeah, yes, this is NYC, bro. No, I'm the police, bro. I'm the police. I'm I'm a crooked cop. Unk from 63rd. <laughs> bro, you're, that's crazy. Unk from 63rd is fucking crazy, bro. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's Hex. Hex is in the chat. Let's go. Gian, you did not get skipped. You know I would never skip anybody. But I do need to stop yapping. Because next up is Sticky. And I know bro's been waiting. It's a lab with just cap. Called it Extra C Minor. 
It's like honestly like such a solid scale. It's like the the goaded one, C minor. That being said, let's tap in. Yo, my bad. I was still here. I was still here. Oh my gosh, that was way too loud. I'm so sorry. I peaked. Um, yo, it was pretty fire, bro. I I liked it. I liked it. Uh, I do agree with Cullen. The melody gets kind of boring after a while, and the drums are super good, and the mix is super good. The drums are hard. There could be a little bit of a switch up or something like that as well in terms of drums. Um, but it's like really good mix on the drums and stuff like that. But the melody definitely gets it. The beat gets repetitive over time. The melody for sure. Even with an artist, I saw Hellboy saying that. I agree 100% that with an artist, it makes a difference. But I still think that like that's it's kind of just a like it's like a two stem loop. I think there needs to be a little bit more stems, like maybe a top line, like a little bit of something that switches up because of the sound selection as well. Um like the sound selection of like the instruments and stuff like the lead is super cool and stuff but the uh arpeggiated just kind of thing it gets like a little bit boring and dull after a while that's that's like calv <laughs> that's that's actually a good compliment i'm not gonna lie um but yeah that being said bro i, I did like the submission 100 percent, and i'm pretty sure you did the drums it's probably just cap that did the melody i just think like uh if there was a little bit more expanded on on the melody instead of it being kind of like a two stem two stem gem then i think it would have been uh like really really solid but i did like the vibe 100 percent, bro i did like the vibe i i enjoyed it it was a good vibe just got a little bit repetitive after a while but i'm looking forward to hearing more bro i appreciate your submission put some dubs in the chat put some dubs in the chat for him is really dope to hear somebody new again oh yeah also i forgot to say it because your, your tag um your tag sounds like it says oh it's stinky it's kind of what it sounds like, bro. Wow. Okay. Thanks, Sleepy. You you ruin <laughs> you ruin what Calv says. Buzz, bruh, Hex. 
Bro, y'all are crazy. You have a nightmare, bro. Why are you saying you have a nightmare, Hellboy? What the hell are you talking about, bro? Bro is just saying some shit. Yo, what is Fufu, bro? What the hell? I don't know what Fufu is. Okay. <laughs> Bro, I don't know about you guys. I don't know. I don't know if you guys been blazing, whatever, bro. But I'm, I'm feeling, feeling a little, a little bit, a little bit zooted, and you know, what, just, a, just a little bit of a zooted guy in here. Yeah, you know what I mean. Oh, okay. Word, word. I did not know that. That's interesting. Maybe I'll have to tap in, bro. I'll see if there's any places. We have a lot of. We got like hella uh, Lebanese food, like like shawarm. We got hella shawarmas in, in Windsor, in my city, and stuff like that. Sativa all the way, bro. I, I don't fuck with indica. Cause sativa is like it's like mind, and music sounds better and shit. I don't know. I feel like I can dissect a mix. Anyways, that being said, appreciate it, Sticky. You fire. I want to hear more from you though, for real. I want to hear way more, cause it's cool. It's cool. I like having new people submit, and I've been enjoying that. That being said. Next up, we have is Killa Killa. K I L L A H. Is Killa in the chat? If not, next is Gian. It's going to be Gian. That's right, bro. Fazo, that's not you. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, like Indica's whack, bro. Indica's lame. I want my brain to. Bro, I like. When I smoke, I, I like. I keep my cool on here, bro, but I swear, like, when I smoke, I just be, like, thinking, like, crazy. That's why I like doing these, though, because I'm, like, listening to the music, and I can actually, like, process it on a different level. Okay, Gian. I believe, since Killa is not here, it's you. It, Fazo, you are not Killa. Yo, for sure, bro. I'm tweaking right now, bro. I took that, I took that caffeine pill, bro. The caffeine pill got me on Mars. Hashtag caffeine pills. I'm not racist, guys. I I work with rappers. <laughs> um, okay. Yo, you're still in here, Gian, right? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Fazo. But yo, yo, on a real note though, like it's it's so funny, like. The caffeine, bro, it's like, because I, I, I literally, I don't drink coffee anymore. I only take caffeine pills, and I only do it when I do streams. That's it. <laughs> bro, <laughs> that's wild, bro. Bro is talking like fucking, what's his name? Like uh, Doodle Bob. It's the, it's the do Doodle Boy variant, bro. Doodle Boy variant. <laughs> Hellboy, when are you gonna when are you gonna start dropping the elf boy reels, bro? I wanna be reposting those. I wanna repost daily elf boy reels. That being said, I'ma stop yapping. We got G on in here, bro. Let's let's see what bro's cooking. Gonna mute myself and, and we're gonna tap in right now.
Bruh. Uh. <sighs> Bro, that shit was hard. I see you guys saying, yeah, it gets, like, repetitive and stuff like that. And, like, a different pattern. Honestly, bro, as a glow beat, I think it's, I think it's good as is. I think all it needs is an artist. Because I could just hear, like, uh, excuse me. I can just hear an artist on it. Like, I hear Zori just spaz on that. I don't think he needs to change anything about the range, man. I think glow beats are, like, the only way you can get away with that. Because if the melody is just fire and you just take in and out the trumpets and stuff like that and you have that theremin sound... Then it's just a it's a it's a wave, bro. Gian, you definitely need to lock in with artists, bro. I swear, I swear, bro. That shit's so fire. That was hard, bro. Like, like I know the repetitiveness and shit like that, bro. I actually, I I, I don't think it's a problem though, because I could just like hear, like, I was I was about to I was about to start freestyling on that, bro. I was I was about to go, go go with that with that Cardi flow, bro. <laughs> I actually really liked it though. That was super hard, bro. I have no complaints. Mix is super clean, everything like that, bro. Gian, Gian, the next Venexi. Gian, the next Venexi, in my opinion, bro. You could do another 808. I don't even think you have to, though, bro. Yo, I'm actually, I'm not going to lie. Hold up. I'm going to hop on this, bro. I'll hop on this beat, bro. And then, like, as a joke, I'm going to try to actually get something, like, cool and interesting and shit. Because I don't, I don't like rap, like, I don't rap in my voice. I do, like, what Cardi does and just makes, like... I make like a goofy ass voice. You wouldn't even know it's me. Um, but I'll try to like hop on it. And then if it's like fire, I'll like, I'll play it like next stream. Right at the beginning. I swear. I swear. Yeah. Like I, I could hear like, I don't know, bro. Like literally, I feel like I could hear like the new Cardi on that. Like that would be like the glow beat he would hop on or something. It's actually super hard. I really like it. No, nah, don't say, oh, hell no, nah, bro. You want to hear Unk on a song? You want to hear Unk on a song? I, I'll show you a song right now. You guys won't even believe it's me, okay? It's the only good song I have, though. I don't have any other good songs. It, it's with a Fendi feature. But, it, like, it's it's the only song that I've recorded that's, like, actually good. Let me see. Okay. Where is it? Okay, yeah. I'll play. I'll play it for you guys. I'll play for you guys. I'll play you my rap song. <laughs> it's it's my beat too. I just I literally so so to to keep it short and simple. I just the reason why I made it was I was literally making the beat and I was like freestyling to it. And then I was like, "Yo, fuck this shit." I was like, "I'm going to hop on the mic and I'm going to like record some shit." So I recorded like three freestyles and then I just kind of like uh put them all together and then I got Fendi to hop on it. Like he wanted to hop on it, which is dope. He said, forget the list he playing in. Bro, I just want, I want people to understand. Cause like, I, like, like I wouldn't rap on some like goofy, goofy shit, like goofy goober shit. I mean, it is goofy. It's actually pretty silly, but it's like hard silly. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see. Okay. Let's see. Let me mute myself real quick. And then y'all going to tap in with the unk rapping. Like 
bitch and make her cuss She just want a knife, put my thumb inside her butt Damn, she ain't had enough, let's watch two girls in one cup Ew, niggas think they tough, pull up with glizzies in a truck Yeah, make them self-destruct, this shit is just I got the ups All right. Yeah, that's me rapping, bro. That's that's me. I'm not the second dude. I'm not the second dude, okay? I'm not the second dude. That's Fendi. That's Fendi. I was just the one that's like doing the run that shit back thing. I don't know, bro. I was just like I was just like fried and I, and I just cooked, bro. I don't know. Just, I was cooking the beat and I was just like, yeah. I kind of like went for like that land seafood, like just different shit, bro, cuz dude, like I'm going to be completely real. Let's be completely honest. Like, I'm a white dude. If I rap, it's going to be corny. I got to do something, like, actually that's not corny. So, like, <laughs> I'm going to, like, just try to, like, hit, like, a different type of flow and make it, like, not sound like me. Because, like, imagine this voice rapping. Like, I was in the streets. Yeah. Like, that would just, it just sound awful, bro. It sound awful. That's why, um, that's why, like, yeah, I know. Unfortunately, it's a hit. It's, unfortunately, it's a hit. I know I should re-record my part. I don't know. It's hard to re-record it though. Cause like, it's like, I use such a weird voice, bro. I just did like some running shit back, <laughs> running shit back. <laughs> like just shit like that, bro. I don't know. It's just goofy. It's like some goofy shit. Like, I don't know, bro. I definitely, I definitely want to record on that Gian thing. No, he doesn't. Oh my gosh. Net spend. Jesus. Yeah, Ian, Ian doesn't really sound white, bro. Like, like I, I'm saying, like most white rappers are like corny, obviously. And like, I I like underground music, so like, if I'm if I'm gonna make like rap songs, whether it be like a joke or not, like I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it corny. You know what I mean? I'm not making like corny music, bro. Honestly, Netspend sucks. Yeah, 100. percent I hate Netspend, bro. Like, no hate to him actually. Like, props to him for coming up, but like, it just it's annoying because like, I think there's people that are in, in his age range that are like artists or producers that are like way more talented and kind of deserve that spotlight a lot more. Been working a lot harder towards it, a lot harder towards the quality of their sound and like their their music means something. So it's not even like a hating thing. Like, good for him, bro. But I don't like his music at all. He he blew up from memes. Let's be real. Um, but yeah, that um uh, that being said, that was. That was unk. Unfortunately, it's a hit. Unfortunately, I can cook. Most of the time, I, like, it, it has to happen, like, magically. Like I said, bro, it's just, if I, like, freestyle and I get a good freestyle, like, the first try, then I just freestyle, like, like two more, three more times, and then I just stitch whatever together. It kind of, like, works out. I definitely want to get into music. I just, I just, like, I don't know, bro. It's corny. It's corny, like, in a way, for me to be an artist, in my opinion. I don't know. Like, if I was to be an artist, like, if I released that song, I probably would not release it under my name, and I probably wouldn't tell people that it's me. I mean, you guys know because you're in stream, so you could, like, leak it if you wanted, but, like, I just wouldn't. Uh, Colin Beat. Oh, Gian, you're good. You're good. But, yeah, I, wa I want to actually hop on your beat, Gian. I want to see if I can cook. Okay, let me see, Colin. Let me see where you're at. Okay. Okay, you know what, Colin? I got... Do you have to go right now? Cause I have one person before you. Like, like, can you wait for one more submission? If you can't, I'll skip you because you're just one away, anyways. But uh, just let me know. If you have to leave, like in the next two minutes, I'll play yours one hundred percent right now. If it wouldn't be him, it would be Jeezy. You got three minutes. Okay. Okay. Bet. 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 I'll tap in with Cullen. So next, we're gonna listen to Cullen. Bro literally jo got added to deadline like th through like submitting through streams and then doing uh, previews and stuff like that. So um, going to play Colin like right now and then I'm going to play Geezy and then Zori if you're still in here I'm going to run back and play your new song. All right. <laughs> Watch your back Paul. That was so funny. I'm dead. You guys submitted within like less than an hour of each other. All right. That being said. Revive with uh, Cullen and Santone. I'm going to mute my mic. We're going to tap in right now real quick. It's only like a minute long anyways. Excited to hear what bro cooked.
Colin, you popped off, bro. That was hard. I really liked it. I really liked it. I liked the drum arrangement. I liked the, what you did with the loops, arrangement. Everything makes super good, super bouncy, super clean, bro. That shit's a banger, bro. I fuck with it, bro. No, no complaints. I have zero complaints. How far are you, Eric? Let me take a look. But yeah, that was Cullen, guys. Put some dubs in the chat for Cullen. He's going to have to head out, but that's all good, bro. I'm glad I got to play him. I'm glad he tapped in, bro. And he is one of the producers in Deadline. So definitely, if you want some beats with him, tap in, in the Discord. I'm sure he'd be more than willing to work. He is a great producer. Yeah, for real. Hit, Cullen's pretty open to working with anyone, bro. I, I know bro's going up. Also, Calv, bro. Calv been going crazy lately. Shout out to Calv. He's a real one. Okay. Let's see. Fazo. Okay, let me let me see. Look. What we have right now is we have Jeezy. Then we have Zori. I have Farah. I have Jello music that I don't think's here. I have Surge. I have Sicko. Stun Evita. Hellboy. Skyboy. Fazo. Like, bro. <laughs> We'll get there, bro. We'll get there. You gotta, you gotta try to submit a little bit earlier. Well, now that you know, bro, that I do them every Monday, like definitely, like after this stream. So I do it like tomorrow. So tomorrow in the morning, just submit, or even after the stream, like right after the stream. If you submit, you'll be, the, uh, excuse me, you'll be the first one to be played. So, anyways, that's being said, let's tap in with this Jeezy, bro. Uh, I've been watching this artist develop for quite some time, literally since like the 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 like very beginning when i was doing like instagram streams and stuff like that i'm pretty sure bro was submitting i've just watched him grow as an artist a lot like his, his sound getting better his mix is getting better he's like taking part in more production and stuff like that um i really fuck with bro and i've been watching his come up and, and i'm excited to hear some more from him bro he, he he never really disappoints i'm not gonna lie so that being said let's tap in with it's jeezy Yo, 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 that was It's Jeezy. Bro, I, I like the vibe. I fuck with it. Um, Did you make the beat? Like, I think the beat's, like, actually pretty solid. It's pretty, pretty good vibe, pretty pretty nice beat. I just think there's a, like, if I'm going to, like, critique it, it's really small. I would just say there's, like, certain takes, like, certain punch-ins that I think could have used a re-recording just so they hit uh hit the, like, beat a little bit more on beat, I guess, if that makes sense. 
um, just certain takes, like not the whole thing, and and maybe just like a little bit of uh, what do you call it? like leveling or or like even like just something for the pop, because there's some points where where your vocals are kind of you can there's like lacking that like pop filter if that makes sense. But it's really good, bro. Really good flows. Like you have I, what I like about you is you have like a really consistent sound, and it like sounds like your your own type of sound. Like it's your own thing. Like like it's uh like as i've been listening to your music over time it's kind of it's kind of nice to to hear an artist that when you listen when you hear it like when you hear them start to rap you know it's that artist because there's a lot of clones i mean we all know this there's, there's a lot of clones all over the the industry right now so it's actually nice to be able to flip on somebody who is like underground un undiscovered and stuff like that and you're actually able to like identify that it's them their music and stuff and i'm also looking forward to to locking in bro with uh with some beats bro i'm gonna try to put together that pack tonight after stream so i'm looking forward to that bro i think it, i think it'll be super fire so i'm excited that being said let's put some dubs in the chat for low jeezy bro he consistently submits bro I, i've seen so much improvement in him i i love it bro and he's been getting more into producing and shit like that it's it's just it's fire for real That being said, is Zori still in the chat? Do we got Zori still in here? I wonder how much of like a uh, comment delay. Okay, okay. It's, it shouldn't be that bad. All right, bet, bro. But I did, I did rock with it, bro. I'm excited to lock in. He's definitely an artist that you guys should keep an eye out for. And I think y'all should, like, try to work with him. You're good, Zori. Yeah, so I'm going to play yours next, Zori, because you submitted, like, way earlier. And then next would be Farah. If Farah's still in here, then Surge, Seko, Stunavita, Hellboy, Skyboy, Fazo. There we go. Okay. That being said... Let me go back to your Zori because you are back here. And then if Kai happens to come back in the chat, he would be getting played next, just so you guys know. Because he's like submitted a while ago. So if anyone sees him in the chat or if he hears me right now, just let me know. But right now we're going to dive in to Zori's new track. It is called All Better, produced by Indigo, Bruno Cartier, Sopel BB, and our own goat that's in deadline hellboy that being said let's tap in let's see what bro is bringing to the table you know it's zori so you know it's about to be a hit Yo, 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 that was the boy, Zori, you already know, bro, one of our deadline artists, bro is fire, bro, I found Zori, Zori, 
I found this dude through doing live streams, bro, which is crazy. Uh, it's awesome. That's why I love doing these, bro. You find talent and you lock in. Zori's been locked in with the whole team, bro. Uh, locked in with community members. He's he's really willing to work with anybody. He's super fire, bro. Um, dude, the only thing I would say is like the melody literally switches up at the end and like does some different shit. And it would be super cool to like just like have a beat switch there. Like it would just be so sick to just have like a like some kind of different beat thing happen because there's like the melody switches and then it just fades out. But I think it would be cool for like some drums to come in and just go crazy. I think that would be like insane. But yeah, I fucked with it, bro. Shit definitely got the unky cosign. But yeah, that being said, that was Zori. You already know. That's coming out midnight, he said. Midnight, all plats, already out on SoundCloud. If you don't know Zori, tap in at one Z O R R I I I. Definitely tap in. I'm yo, Zori, for that one though, you should have the next song. Like like I don't know who made the melody, but tap in with the person that made the melody and get that part of the melody and let me just like throw drums on it. Cause then you could just like it's a single, but you could like maybe put it on a project and then like make it a, like a lead single or like one of the lead singles for a project and then have it like transition to the next song, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, I know who did the the beat. I was just, I don't know who did the melody, but it would be cool to to tap in with that. But uh, yeah, that was, that was super fire. That was super dope. Uh, also, what's good, Ketra? If you're still in here right now, I owe you a play. You submitted pretty early as well and I skipped over you because you weren't here. You know, that's, that's the usual routine. Whenever you get in, I will play your stuff. No problem. I just want to make sure you're here so I can give you that feedback. And you already know. That's how the stream goes. Yeah, it would be fire, bro. Find out who did it, bro. Find out. Because I'll, I'll cook it up tonight, bro. I'm probably going to cook. I'm I, like, okay. Honestly, what are your guys' thoughts? I, I Probably not a lot of people will be tuned in by the time I'm done the music review. But I might like... And like when I'm done the music review, maybe I'll like cook up near the end. Just c try to cook up some beats on uh, some of your guys' loops or something. I think it would be cool. Up to you guys though. Um, if not, I'm gonna cook up regardless. I just didn't know if it's like worth uh, giving it a shot on live. But yo, Ketra, you still here? Let me know, bro. Let me know if you're still here, Ketra. Put some dubs in the chat for Zori as well, bro. I need to get used to that. Put some W's in the chat, bro. I want to see spam W's. Every person put like ten W's and shit. Yeah, the Stunna Unk shit coming soon. I'm excited, bro. I actually haven't listened to it yet. I know it's a draft, so it doesn't have a good, like, a, like, a, like the mix isn't done, but I'm excited to hear what bro cooked up on my beat, bro, for real. Let's go. W's. All right, Ketra. That being said, I appreciate you. I stopped myself, but, um, yeah, I appreciate your submission. I, I can't wait to hear it right now. I'm going to. Tap in. I will mute myself and we'll and we'll see what's up.
yo, yo, yo. So I, I honestly, bro, Ketra, pretty, pretty good submission. I, I vibed with it. I thought it was a pretty good beat. Um, in terms of critiquing it, what I will say is it gets, it is simple, but it gets a little bit repetitive over time, just a little bit. Like it's, but that's not really the 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 break for me. I just think personally the the 808 is like too blown out and, and too loud compared to the rest of the mix of everything. It's just it's just like um, volumes above the rest of it to the point where where it blows out kind of the entire mix. But everything like the other mix like of your hi hats like that you're leveling everything like that it sounds good. It's, it's just the 808s are a bit too blown out. Like I would turn down the 808s a little bit just because they're hitting a little bit too hard or even just like a different 808 uh sound selection i wasn't the biggest fan personally of the 808 that you chose and again one of those things where i was saying where the pattern after a while it, it has balance but it begins to get a little bit repetitive you know what i mean but i do like it bro i i appreciate your submissions and stuff like that i appreciate being able to to give you tips and and watch you grow and stuff like that um i think your melody game is super super solid you have like really good vibey melodies i just think the the 808s are a little bit too blown out that's that's pretty much it though that's that's my thoughts um but yeah let's put some dubs in the chat for catcher bro that shit was hard thank you for um tuning into the stream i really appreciate that because uh you weren't there earlier now you are i got to i got to give you some feedback i hope you take it and i'm looking forward to hearing your submission next week so just a reminder, if you guys are in here, you weren't in here earlier when I said it, uh, from now on, 100% Mondays, every Monday is going to be the days that I do the music slash beat reviews. And then there's going to be another day during the week that's going to be like kind of sporadic, a random day where I'm going to do something else. Like example, this week, Saturday, I'm going to be hosting a beat battle from This Goes Hard, Alex. I'm really looking forward to that. There's a $50 grand prize. I'm going to be, he's going to be hosting it on my YouTube channel if you want the loops for the beat battle just check out his discord i will like just dm me on instagram or hit me on the uh, deadline account you'll you can see it it's also been in the announcements as well if you're trying to look for it yeah serge serge no worries yeah i'm uh i'm going through so like example like ketra he was he submitted like way before you he just wasn't in the chat so i always put people that have submitted earlier first just because like they t they made sure that they submitted early and they just weren't able to make the chat in the moment so next up i have farah uh jello music and then i have you and i don't think jello music is in the chat like i've been seeing somebody named jello music but i've seen farah so pretty much it's one more beat and then you unless somebody that submitted earlier happens to like pop in like kai for example or something like that that's the order I go. I try my best, bro. There's going to be a point where it's going to be like super difficult to do this, but like 100% I'm going to I'm going to keep at it. Like as long as you guys are able to let me know in the chat that you're here, then that then that's all that matters. Especially when it gets bigger, like if you see somebody in the chat and they're like like the chat gets flooded cuz I know that'll happen like eventually. Like like trust me, give it give it like 3 months. This will this will be really starting to pop. Um yeah, just just helping out each other, you know. This was all about but that being said, Fair, are you still in the chat? Or Calv, if you're in the chat, can you tell Fair to get his ass in here so I can play his beat? Buying a whiteboard will help you keep you more organized? Possibly. Possibly. There's definitely a there's definitely a possibility that it can, but like you could use like a piece of paper. I know this one producer that does that. He literally uses like like he just has a piece of paper on his wall that says like all his goals and stuff like that. But if you're talking about like organization, like I'm gonna do this today, blah blah blah. Yeah, I get like a day planner or something like that, like a whiteboard day planner. That'd be cool. Fair. That being said, I'm glad that you were back here. You l stupid little Italian fuck. You little Italy boy. You margarita pizza loving motherfucker. I'm glad to see you're in here. And I'm hyped to hear the beat that you cooked up this week. It's called Last Words with Farah and VGS. I can't read the rest. Let's tap right in. Let's get lit at midnight. The end is 
Hell yeah, bro. That was Pharaoh. He is also in Deadline. Bro is the mainstream CEO kind of, bro. He he got the mainstream beats on deck, bro. The mainstream drums and shit like that. I thought that was super hard, bro. I really liked the vibe. I liked the mix. I thought it was a pretty solid beat. My only, like, tiny critique is maybe the 808s being a tiny bit quieter. Or maybe, like, the melody being turned up or everything else being turned up just a little bit. 808s are, like, really knocking. Like, it sounds good and stuff, but... Like, just a little bit of volume down, I think, would make make a little tiny bit of a difference. And just some, uh, like, the two-step hi-hat, yeah, like, it was fire. But, like, I think there should have been a little, like, variation switch up. Especially when, um, what's it called? When the, uh, when the beat started, uh, br like, when the breakdown happened. You know, like, when it, like, broke down and then the drums came back in, I think it would have been really sick to hear some, like, hi-hat rolls and some, like, crazy shit just to kind of, like, finish the beat off. Pause. But that being said, bro, fire submission. Good vibes, bro. I liked it. Bro, stop. It's... Okay, look. It's just... I, I took a fucking shower right before stream. Like, I got here and then I took a shower, okay? Look, there. There. There you go, okay? there there's like normal here bro that's a crazy thing to say bro that's insane it's just the way that the hat made my hair bro i don't style my hair like that okay i swear that's crazy i'm a hat guy though personally that being said bro pharaoh put some dubs in the chat for pharaoh da -da 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 let's go let's go pharaoh the goat bro i always love hearing submissions from the team bro I, I don't exclude anyone even people that are on the team for real that being said to move on what's good sicko bro that's actually actually decent timing bro you kind of you kind of tapped in at a good time because basically the order that i have right now is if Je jello music i don't know if they're here if they are they're next then it's going to be surge then it'll be you sicko so that actually kind of works out great Perfect timing to tune in. You're like the second person that tuned in at like the perfect time. You guys are, people are getting like too good at like, like knowing when, when where I'm at at stream because they know I'd be yapping, bro. <laughs> that being said, let's tap in. If if Jello music isn't in the chat, yo dumplings, yo what dumplings, bro? I'm not gonna lie, Costco chicken dumplings. They're, they're like actually goaded like i swear like like i never even like really tried dumplings or rocked with them or anything um but costco dump chicken dumplings bro are like the best things ever i even went to chinese restaurants it sounds good bro you got work in 20 minutes yeah you're good you're good because i'm playing surge i do i'm doing like one submission per person now so i'm doing surge next and then i'm doing you sicko you just gotta let me know which one like which because you sent in a bunch and i'm only doing one submission per person just because like the streams are getting bigger i mean i literally announced the stream like i announced people to start submitting uh yesterday and i feel like i got like around 30 submissions or something like or it was like saturday night still like it, it i got like so many submissions and so yeah i kind of have to limit it because i want to make sure everyone gets played that tunes in that being said because you have to work i'm gonna stop yapping we're gonna tap in with surge surge which one do you want me to play you got a uh, bus a band and you got get back. Let me know which one and I will put it on right now. Hope to hear some surge, bro. He topped in last week. I really like the that uh more acoustic type of sound vibe. But uh yeah, that being said. All right, Sticky. It's been fire, bro, with you too. I appreciated your submission. It was super good, bro. Hopefully you come back next week cuz I would love to listen to more stuff from you. Of course, bro. I will review your beat every single week you submit. Like, anytime you submit, bro, I'm reviewing. I, I, I don't leave anybody hanging. I make sure every single person that's tuned in has their stuff listened to. Sounds good, bro. I can't wait for you to come back. It'll be lit. And definitely, like, also, if you wanted to tap in with that beat battle, um, just, just hit me. Let me know. I'll, I'll tell you about it. I mean, $50 prize, not bad. And, you know, you got the uncoasting it, so, you know, it'll be somewhat entertaining. Choose the death stare beat. Okay. Yeah, I'll choose that one for you, sicko. But Surge, uh, which one do you want me to play? Do get back? Okay, bet. 
Yeah, DM me, DM me. I'll let you know about it. Yeah, if anyone's interested, uh, $50 Beat Battle, I'm hosting it for another producer that has his own Discord. You know me, community-driven dude, trying to put everybody on. I Like, if I can use my platform to help other producers, I'm going to do it. That's just the way I am. So, that being said, yep, uh, Saturday, Beat Battle, $50 Grand Prize. Loops are in. This goes hard, Alex's uh, Discord. If you need the Discord, DM me, whatever. Anyways... Let's check out Get Back by Surge. I'm about to mute my mic and we're about to tap in. Stay back, girl. You don't need nobody else. You better run where you stay at. Get, get, get back, get back, get back. I could've just sit on my ass, but I go get back. Hop in the jack, watch me do my dash. When they got me a bass, then they been on my ass. They been on my ass, yeah. I've been getting cash, yeah. Don't let it tell you can keep the change, cash, yeah. You like where she at? Boy, I got your pay right here. Keep a K with me, you ain't tryna play with me. This bitch tryna stay with me, bitch, I'm making plays. Wait, the red dot at your brain, nigga, then we dig a grave. I got different color chains on me, no, I'm not a slave. I might keep her for the day with me, but she not my bane no away. I just bought you shit, nigga, I don't play that. Me and your girls acquainted, yeah, we go way back. I just wanna be by myself, I said these bitches stay back. Girl, you don't need nobody else, you better run where you stay at. Bitches too cold, we doing cash, they picking the flow, the whip is too fast, and I need some more. I gave her some cash, she whipping the pole, I'm laying the back, I'm taking the soul. And now that I gotta go hit the door, she gotta pay away like toes, yeah. Gotta hit the road, but right now I'm gonna fold, yeah. Calling you alone, if I don't answer, I'ma phone, yeah. Shout it, she a scholar, come over here, drop that dome, yeah. If not, then why you bother? Text me when your ass get home, yeah. I just bug your shit, nigga, I don't play that. Me and your girls acquainted, yeah, we go way back. Yo, yo, let's go, Serge. Let's go. I like it, bro. I fuck with the vibes. I actually, I actually like that one, that one quite a lot. That's probably my favorite submission that I've heard from you uh, so far. Honestly, it's pretty good. Um, like it gets fire. It's a banger, bro. I like it. I like the other artists too. Uh, there's some things about the mix I would definitely uh, like tweak up a little bit. Like there's certain things like in the mix that are kind of. Like like your some of your ad libs, uh, like your singing ad libs, if that's you specifically, are a little bit like, um, like like just it's kind of like a weird mix. Like they're they're bassy a little bit, and they're like louder. Like I don't I don't know. Like there's like definitely like some things that like an engineer could like really help you tweak out with that, especially if that's not released yet. I would definitely, yeah. Like like it's like some, some of the vocals sound a little bit uh compressed and stuff like that too much but but like the flows and stuff is nice and, and the vibe is nice and like honestly like the mix of the vocals is is overall kind of passable there's just certain parts that are like difficult to hear what you're saying because of like the the leveling in the mix um so i i overall like it the only thing i'm gonna say who made the beat like are you connected personally with the person that made the beat because it's really cool that it's up an octave high on the 808 but in my opinion bro there had to be like how do what is what, what am I trying to say? Um, yeah, there had to be like a point where you were, what's it called? Where the eight oh eight should have went down an octave, like just it it kind of like got like super repetitive in the upper thing and like there when the eight oh eights are in a higher octave, it's only hitting like a certain amount of frequency of bass. 
and it like it's cool at first but there should have been like a point where um where it kind of like switched you know like where um where something else happened if that makes sense oh you dropped it already yeah like it's good bro it's a good song and stuff but um that is like a huge thing though i think with the beat it would have been really it would have made the song like actually a hundred times better if the beat just dropped down an octave when like the verses came on or something like like that that to me would make the biggest difference bro i hate that this is like a weird mirror reverse so i can't like line up my hat when i put it on also also fried so that makes sense too but yeah that's that was my thing like with the beat i think the beat was the biggest thing yeah the 808 like it would have been so sick yeah like i don't know if if that's something you guys could work on the mix i don't know if it's just a soundcloud release if it's not on all platforms i would definitely take the time to like mix it because i hear the potential in the track i feel like it'd be like a really really cool track and really dope that you have like a couple different artists on it just like tap in with the engineer and then definitely if you have one of the artists that is um friends with the producer or like knows the producer well enough tell the producer to either send the stems or just be like yo like drop the off octave down one because like it literally because it's like that the whole time there's literally like a low end like there's a whole gap of low end frequency that just isn't there the entire song like the entire song it's, there, it's just lacking that bass because it's cool at first but it gets it gets like you know like, like, yeah that being said fire submission bro that's definitely my favorite one you've submitted so far though i really liked it you, you killed the hook for sure um i appreciate it bro i appreciate your submission I, I can't wait to hear more honestly like uh like you're a pretty fire artist serge i appreciate you always tuning in and always staying tapped in with deadline bro it means a lot and i'm looking forward to seeing more from you bet bro uh just make sure serge after the stream resubmit it because that's how i'm doing these like i i'm not i can't like jump around it'll make it too complicated i go from like the date that i announce it which from now on is going to be after my stream when my stream is done any of the beats after that like i i most of the time i don't even click on the beat submission thing that way all of the new ones like all of the new submissions are like under the bottom so that i can just scroll and find them you know what i mean so definitely resubmit that if you want me to review that one next week. Anyways, sicko. That being said, uh, which one did you want again? Death stare. You want me to tap in with death stare. Just want to make sure. I'm pretty sure you said that because we're going to tap in with you next. And also people that are in here right now, put some dubs in the chat for surge for real. It's um, bro. Bro definitely cooked with that one. Definitely going to keep my eye on his collective. That being said, dubs in the chat for surge. If you're in here right now. Make sure to put some fucking W's. And if you've joined in and I don't know you're in here, please let me know because I might have skipped you and I would like to play your stuff. I just make sure that you're active and you're here so that I can actually give you guys real feedback. Monty, let's go. Faiso, I did not skip you. Bro, bro, you submitted you submitted like after the stream started, I saw her. Um, but yo. Hey, that's what's up, Monty. See, I, bro, Monty, I told you. Monty was like, yo, I'm going to be sleeping. He's like, bro, like, I'm going to be sleeping four hours from now. I'm like, bro, I'm going to be on stream for fucking so long. Like, you don't even get it. I saw yours. Yeah, Monty. I, I went past it, but I'm going to jump back to it. I just gonna, I'm going to play Sicko first because I was literally about to play his. And then I'm jumping back to yours, Monty. So I'm going to tap in with that. Been live for three hours and 20 minutes, man. Hell yeah. I love these lives, bro. I love listening to everyone's new music and shit like that. Fuck, Fazo, damn. I feel bad. Okay. Let's see. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Five people ahead of Fazo, but that's also people that might not be here. Like, I think most of them are. And, and Molly already got played. So, Fazo, you're pretty close, bro. I'll, I'll, I'll yap a little bit less so that I can get to you ASAP. Um, I'm going to play Sicko, then I'm going to play Monty, then it's going to be Stunavita if he's in here right now, then it's going to be Hellboy, Skyboy, and then you, Fazo. But I don't think Skyboy's in here, and fuck Hellboy, I can definitely skip him. He, fucking bitch. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Um, but not really. I could skip him for you, because he's in the same time zone as me. That being said, I'm tapping with Death Stare by Prod Sicko. 
Let's see what bro is cooking. Are you a man who once said death smiles at us all? All a man can do is smile back. Yo, that was from Prod Sicko. My thoughts, my critique. I like the beat. I like the vibe, like the ambience and stuff like that. The thing I didn't really like was the 808 patterns. Like, okay, like, so when you have like the breakdown and it's honestly just that really subtle like background synth that's on the low end and you don't really hear, like, you, like there's no high end. It's like so like muddled out, but in a good way. Like, I like that. Um, when you have that part the 808s sound fine the way they are but like your initial 808s like in the main hook areas are like they I don't think they're out of key they're just not on the root notes and and they're not bouncing around enough in my opinion like I think the the drum sounds were pretty all right like I don't think he necessarily had to swap them out I think it was more about the patterns like the uh, actual 808 patterns that bro had you know what I mean like it like a like it wasn't hitting the root note or maybe it was out of key for certain parts. It just didn't hit the ear right. And it was a little bit repetitive in terms of like the 808s. And I feel like it should have bounced around a little bit more. It's one of my main critiques I've noticed a lot of producers aren't doing is the, the 808s get a little bit too repetitive and they need to actually like bounce around the scale and stuff like that. Oh, no, you're good. Yo, Jello Music, you're good. You're good. I don't play people's. I literally don't play people's stuff unless they like are here so you're good i made sure to skip over yours if you're in here now you're in here now of course sicko i appreciate you submitting i'm looking forward to hearing more i'm kind of shocked like nobody's saying the fact that like i'm i have the goofiest get up on right now like like bro i just like put all this shit on and and got no nobody noticed 
Nobody said anything, bro. Like, you think this is natural, bro? You think this is normal? Like, like, bro. Like, bro. I, I have two glasses on my head. I'm wearing two different hats. I got my headphones not on my ears, just like that. Classic Monday fit is fucking crazy. Yeah, this is my. This is. I'm just gonna stream like this from now on. This is gonna be like the the get up here. The NYC. I'm from 63rd. If you didn't know, I'm not. I'm just kidding. Somebody else said that. I think Hellboy. Um, I'm just running with it. How did you not notice, bro? This is so noticeable. It's like literally so obvious. I, I'm shocked, bro. Um, that being said, bro, hell yeah, bro. Sicko, I hope you submit more. Uh, I'm looking forward to hearing more from you, bro. I want to hear some more beats. You know, I do this every week, every Monday. So definitely be sure to tap in. Okay, that being said, who who just joined in? There was a couple of people that just joined in. We got uh, Pablo. We got Monty, Jello. I seen Pablo somewhere, but I don't know if he was earlier. I'm I'm trying to see right now. I'm trying to see out of the new people who's going next. Cause I make sure I play every single person. I make sure they're here. I'm I'm that's that's what makes me different from the other people. Pablo, you are technically correct. You would be the next person as long as you're still in the chat. Just let me know you're still in the chat. Also, put some dubs in the chat for Sicko, bro. Put some dubs in the chat for Sicko, please. Everybody put I want every, you know what, bro? New new way of doing this, okay? Every person puts like five dubs for every person that plays. Unless it's just insane, then you put like 200 dubs, bro. Fuck it. Let's get these like comments running, bro, for real. Low fit. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. Got my trueies on. Oh my god. All right. Oh, cool. I feel like the head the headphones kind of make it perfect, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the headphones. I'm not listening on headphones, by the way. I have monitors. If you just tuned in, I just have these on as like a joke. What up, light eye beats? Are you new here? I don't think I've ever seen you in chat or in the cord. If you're new here and you want to submit, excuse me, deadline discord. It is the link is in my bio. Join the public discord, beat a music review submissions. It's a section in there. You can submit 100%. Uh, I'm going in order pretty much of people that are here right now. That being said, so, okay, here's the current order that I have based on the people that are here, just so you guys kind of, like, have awareness of it, because, you know, I always jump back if I skip to you, etc., cetera, et cetera. Nightmare, I see you. Night Nightmare, your, your name is Nightmare Beats on Chord, right? I just want to be sure. Like, if your name is different on Chord than it is on here, definitely let me know, because I want to make sure. Okay, what's good? Skyboy's here. Sweet. Um, Yeah, you got to let me know if you're name is different like if i don't know you too well or even if your name's like a lot different and i wouldn't be able to tell i just need to know so that i make sure that i'm like playing you and you're not like bro i'm not getting played but because like everyone has different shit like everyone has different names from youtube to discord like a decent amount actually so that being said let's see so the order right now so i have pablo next because he he submitted like a lot earlier but he just wasn't in here after Pablo, I have Monty. After Monty, I have Jello. After Jello, I have Stunavita. After Stunavita, Hellboy, Skyboy, and Fazo. Fazo, if you have to go to bed, just let me know because I'll play yours before you have to go to bed. I don't want you. To, I I don't want you to have to wait for hours because just so you guys know. For me right now, I'm in Eastern time, so it's 7:42. For Fazo right now, it is like 1:42 a.m. So he's been he, and he's been waiting for a minute. I just started the streams early for like European people, so that I, I'm able to like play beats for them and stuff like that. Because you know it's a lot later there than it is here. Anyways, oh, that's what's up, Light Eye. That's fire. I'm gl I'm glad. Well, welcome welcome to uh, the stream. I uh, hope you enjoy, bro. We got a uh, we got a lot of fire here so if there's like producers you want to tap in with and stuff like that this is definitely the the place to do it you're good phaso okay bet i'm gonna so 
here's what I'll do for you, Fazo. I'll play Pablo, and then I'll play you, just because it's like almost 2 a.m. for you, and I feel terrible, but I want you to be able to hear your submission. I know your mix is on fire, so I'm like uberly excited. And then I'll like bounce back around, et cetera, et cetera, because you've been like in here since the beginning waiting. So, uh, yeah. So next we're going to do Pablo. You'll wait. You'll wait. Okay, bro. If you, if you'll wait, that that's, that's totally cool, bro. Just, uh, just want to make sure you get played, bro. I don't want, I don't want you to miss out. You know, if you're just chilling, you're just chilling, bro. I rock with that. Appreciate you taking the time to actually chill in the stream for real. That's what's up. That being said, yo, Pablo. Just making sure you're still here because I yap for a little bit and then I feel like people leave and it's like, it's happened before. I had somebody just do it, the stream, or like two people. Okay, Pablo, you still in here? Okay, we're going to listen to your submission next. So we got Pablo Beats next, or Pablo Blessed with the beat or song. I don't know if you're a producer or artist, but uh, Bad B, 148 BPM, which makes me think you're a producer because producers always be labeling their stuff properly that being said time to mute my mic and i'm gonna tap in i think you're a new person here i haven't seen your stuff before so i'm excited to hear what you're cooking up Got a dumpy is fucking insane, bro. What is wrong with you, Monty? Bro said I got a dumpy. Yo, honestly, once I hit 1K subs and, like, I get monetized, I will 100% bust it down and twerk. Unk will, Unk will bust it down, bro. I will bust it down once I hit 1K and I'm getting monetized. Soon, bro. It'll happen. So, thoughts on the beat, though. Sorry about I just had to I had to address I had to address the 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 dumpy allegations. Um that being said, I do like the beat, like I like the vibe um of it. I just think like the bounce is like cool and interesting and stuff like that. I definitely just think you need to work on like your sound selection and like your mixing cuz the mix of it was really kind of like 
and it just was like off uh in terms of like the frequencies and stuff like that especially the 808 the 808 was just like so kind of like like blown out and like washed out and it, it honestly like kind of sounded like the 808 was almost coming from like a, like a like a radio speaker or something like that it just like kind of didn't it wasn't like uh very what do you call it like it wasn't it wasn't too clean but it wasn't also distorted in a way that that works in my opinion um like i hear the potential and i hear the bounce of it but definitely i would say i don't know what you mix on right now if you used headphones or monitors or something like that but uh and this is the only beat i've heard from you so far I, i'm looking forward to hearing more i'd love you to submit more but whatever you're using to mix right now i definitely uh try to use something like different like a different type of thing because the mix is it's like there's it feels like a little bit barren and empty it gets like a little bit repetitive over time like i hear what it can be i hear the potential and stuff like that like 100 percent, i hear it but um just in terms of the mixing the 808 maybe even the sound selection it's just like they're too like blasted out and like soft clipped compared to the rest of the beat i do like the melody and like the vibe like i said in the balance i just think that there, there's definitely like a something about your your mix like the way you mix the drums that i wasn't the the biggest fan of as well as just the melody needing a little bit of like low end taking out um but that's my critique overall like i said i see the vision i see the vibe of like what you're going for and i do like it like i i like that type of vibe it's got like a balance like i, I definitely can bounce around to it um it just it's just like a mixing thing like if you i don't know what headphones you use but maybe try to like listen to because i know some people they only use like their headphones for example when they're cooking or they only use their like studio monitors when they're like making beats and it's like you definitely need to spend a large amount of time actually listening to a lot of music and a lot of beats on your like monitors or your headphones as well like the ones you use to cook because you're going to hear good mixes and then you'll know how to actually like mix your beats in a way that that is like super good you know what i mean that being said i appreciate your submission bro pablo i hope you uh continue su to submit honestly it is super fire i hear the potential and i want to i want to watch your sound develop bro for sure that's what i love doing i love giving advice i love trying to help out because then people get better and then i get to see it and it's just it's like awesome to be there from even before like it's like bef almost before the start before even the start of your career if that makes sense you know what i mean um that being said monty i got you next i'm glad you tapped in bro monty's the go i appreciate him he's given me like a lot of uh interesting sauce and shit about like uh reels and stuff in the past he's he's really good producer he's got like a, a different type of sound that i that i genuinely enjoy a lot of the times and he's pretty versatile as well um only thing i would wish for monty is, is just a little bit more consistency bro like like stay active bro you, sometimes you you just be going missing which i know is fine but like like just keep the momentum going like like if I stop doing, for example, like if I stop doing streams, like if I'm like, I'm going to do them every Monday, let's say I do it for like a month and even I get up like to like 300, 400, 500 subs. If I just like didn't post for two weeks, I like would definitely lose all that momentum just like that. Got to stay consistent. Also, um, one more thing before I, before I play your submission, Monty, I'm, I'm hyped to listen to it, but um. I know there was a couple people, I don't know if they're in the chat, but that went to Oh Hey Trey, like uh, K Suave's, or K Suave, however you say it, uh, his engineer. I know he did like a beat battle and like everyone, I had people like reach out to me and that were literally saying like, bro, like your streams are like way, 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 way better. Like he like deleted a whole bracket. Is there anybody that was in here? I'd love to hear a little bit more about the stream because people, <laughs> bro, people were like mad. What's my advice for getting better at sound selection? Just get good, like, honestly, like, find good kids. I'm telling you right now, if you do, um, like, like, deadline, like, the, the group deadline, like, where is it? Right here, deadline. Uh, that's, that's like me and my team's music group. Uh, we've put out two kits so far. We're putting out another one soon, but they're like all free. So, like, just, just literally tap in, like, uh, at deadline.wave on Instagram. Just tap in. We, we have kits. They're free. And there's like really good sounds in there. They're not recycled either. They're like original, but we definitely like made them for the purpose of being usable. You know what I mean? And how like like I mean, 
if you hear some of the deadline members beats, you know, they have like really good sound selection and stuff like that. So it's definitely kits. I wouldn't just suggest our kits. Like there's other people that make good kits too, but I'm just, I'm obviously going to plug our kits. Cause I know there's good sound selection. I made good beats with our kits. I mean, I've, pl I've played part in sound designing the drums, me, B storm, Hellboy, we've worked on the drums. Cosmos worked on the drums a little bit too and stuff like that. So like, these are like actual sound design drums that are like good quality. Like we wouldn't be putting out trash, bro. We don't want to like taint our name or like put out recycled shit. You know what I mean? So if you want to do that, yeah, at deadline, I'll wave, tap in, like, f free kits. New one coming soon, probably a week from today. Um, I just need to go ahead from Calv. Calv is the CEO of kits right now, so that's what's up. That being said, I was talking about the drums. Because I thought your sound selection for your melody was fine. I, I didn't have a problem with your melody, actually. But like sound selection for melody as well. We do have one shots and, and serum presets. Like we don't just, it's not just a drum kit. It's literally like an everything kit. Like they have, we do like uh, multi kits only. I think this kit, we might actually just make it like everything but drums. And then the next kit, we might just do a full drum kit. Um, We'll see. We'll see. But that being said, Monty, you still in here? I just want to make sure you're still in here. I'm about to about to play your submission, bro. About to see, about to see what bro is cooking up. We got Monty in the kitchen and he cooking it. New tag. Yo, yo, you should clip that and make that your tag. Bro said he's nervous. That's crazy. You shouldn't be nervous, bro. It ain't that deep. Yo, Wally. This guy, Wally, bro. The GOAT. Shout out to Wally, by the way. I have to say, I have to say it every time, bro. The streams would not exist without Wally, bro. If Wally wasn't here, bro, there would be no streams. He helped me out with all of this, bro. No, bro. You cannot hold five dollar here, actually. Look, bro, I have like the old Canadian fucking five dollar when it was paper still. I like randomly got it as change. Here you go. I'll let you hold this, bro. The GOAT. Wally helped me set up streams. He's the GOAT. I always have to shout him out, bro. And he helps me moderate this shit. Shout out to him. That being said, bro, Monty, don't be nervous. We about to tap in right now, bro. Bro, move to Canada just for deadline. What the hell, bro? Move to Canada for deadline. There's like only me and <laughs> me and Hellboy are the only two people from Canada in deadline. <laughs> All right, Monty. All right, bro. Let's tap in. Let's see what you're cooking. I got to mute myself and then I am.
Yo, yo, yo. Yo, Monty. Let me know let me know when you're back, bro, so I can give you uh my critique just so you're here. I wanna make sure I can actually give it to you. This is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I, I like the I like the melodic stuff for sure. Like I really like the uh vibe of it and stuff. There is some things that I definitely wanna like critique and, and let them know because there's like certain things I think can be like touched up to make it uh like a lot better because it is definitely like a really cool vibe. But um just a couple things. I'm just gonna wait for him. Cause I don't wanna what's it called? I don't wanna like critique it and then he's gonna be like, yo, I'm back and you know. Anyways, what are you guys on? What are you guys doing? How's your night going? Let me know, bro. Like where where are you guys watching stream from actually? That's a great question. I'm actually curious because somebody earlier said they were at the gym watching stream, which is kind of fire, bro. Fazo laying in bed, hell yeah, bro. It's like two AM for that guy. Bro, Hex, Bust Down Rosary, bro. Um, when I first when I read that, I I read it like super fast and like I thought you said chilling, smoking this perk. I was like, bro, smoking the perk thirty. I was like, that's that's crazy, bro. Chilling, bro. I'm just chilling. I'm just smoking this perk, bro. I'm just chilling, smoking this perk. You know, you know, usual daily. Average average Monday evening activities smoking that perk. <laughs> Funny as all. You're in the college door and ripping some Xbox. That's what's up, bro. Hell yeah, what are you playing? I don't fuck with Xbox, bro. I'm I'm a PlayStation guy though personally. I'm not I'm not I'm team PlayStation, bro. I'm sorry. I played that their fucking what's that game called, bro? The game that Astros Playroom, bro? Gas. Astro's Playroom is so good, bro. I love it cuz like we we just I just got a PS5 recently. If you didn't know, it's actually crazy the way we got it. Um my girlfriend's mom is like in those like Facebook mom uh like those things where you put in money for raffles and stuff like that to win things. It, it, they're not even legal, but um she's in one of those and she won a brand new PS5 like the disc edition. She literally won it for like $33 in a raffle. So we paid her 33 bucks and and now we have a PS5. So that's fire. That's lit. And so I've been playing that. Um, the fucking playroom whatever game. And it's dope because I have a five year old daughter. Like she can actually play that bro. That's what's sick. Okay there. There you are Monty. I was waiting for you bro. I was, just, I was, chopping, it up, I was chopping it up with chat bro. You know me. I, I love to chop it up with chat. But Monty you're back. Okay here's my feedback. I really like it. Putting a headlight in your car is crazy. Yeah, we waited for you, bro. You're good, bro. Don't worry, Monty. I make sure I'm, I want to make sure you're here for the critique. So my thoughts is is really cool. It's got like a really cool vibe. It's nice, uh, a decent progression and shit like that. Um, m my critique would be the drums, like they sound a little bit too. Um, other than that, cool solo where you know it's like the toms hitting and stuff like that and that was uh panned out i thought that was really cool but the drums are a little bit too quantized like they just sound very like um like like it's like taking real drum sounds and making them like a little bit ro like like in that it sounds like it's made in a doff that makes sense compared to like the guitars and stuff like that um if you added a little bit more swing kind of threw it off the uh the grid a little bit i think the drums would go a lot better and just some of like the sound selection of the drums too another thing was the there's not it's a really good vibe but the mixing like it kind of i think in terms of mixing i think there needs to be a lot more low low end and i think there needs to be a decent amount of mid lows and even a little bit of mid cut out of the mix just cuz the it's a lot of mid low in the mix and it kind of like gives it like a, a bit of a, a muddiness and stuff like that. Like I really, really like the vibe and I like that you're like trying something new 100%. Um, but I definitely think you need like some, some low end on the track, maybe a, a couple different, uh, drum sounds like the kick. I wasn't the biggest fan of, um, and just some like, uh, mids out a little bit work with velocity. Yeah. That's sauce. 100% bro. I swear my favorite thing to do is is take a shaker in a beat and just like like uh play with the velocity it makes it sound like so natural and shit like that if you just like you know what I mean like 
it makes it sound a lot more natural. Phase is 100% right. That was a really good tip as well. So I hear the potential, and I think you you should just um you should work a little bit more just on the mixing and stuff like that. Like a little bit of EQ. I'd like a like a deeper baseline. Like I'd like I'd like a nice baseline to that where it'll be like um just like some more low end. You know what I mean? Like I do like it. And the guitar solo is cool. Did you do the guitars? Like, I feel like if you didn't, I might be wrong, but if it sounded like you did it through the, like, like same thing, you programmed it. And at first it sounded like I liked it, but there was like certain parts where it almost sounded like it was like one shots overlapping each other. But maybe you did like do the guitar solo. I'm not 100% sure, but there's like certain parts that overlap in kind of like a, an awkward way in that kind of breakdown overall my thoughts are is like it's it's a beautiful like sa beat and like it's original and like the concept is there 100 percent. it's just the uh sound selection and the mixing of like how it's so like the a little bit of an execution change would would make a huge difference in my opinion but yeah bro monty overall bro is pretty fire i'm glad you glad you submitted something and, and i'm glad it's something like a lot different you know Le like getting into a different type of subgenre is super super interesting and yeah bro bet yeah thanks for taking it. I, I honestly bro i only give critique and feedback because i want to see the best in everyone i want everyone to succeed and everyone to be able to reach their full potential of talent like the talent's there it's just they need to get to they need to get that full potential of the talent you know what i mean so yeah bro like that I, the feedback's there to help bro thankfully i I've never had somebody get mad at me yet on stream. I imagine it's going to happen one day. I'm going to critique something and somebody's going to get super mad about my critique when it's a beat music review. Like I'm not just going to say this is trash or this is fire. I obviously break it down, bro. That's the unk difference. That's what makes me different from all these other reviewers. That being said, Jello Music, the Xbox gamer. Are you still in the chat? Good, sir. let's go let's go jello um i don't think you've submitted before so super cool glad you are in the discord we we do a lot of fun stuff in there welcome uh submit every week if you want to you know it's a vibe you've been in here for a while so you're kind of getting the vibes already you know i listen to your song give you a critique or your beat whatever it may be and yeah i i want to jump in right into it the only thing is i'm doing one each time so is it going to be Olvia, or is it going to be my story? Which one do you want me to play? Okay, for sure. I will play my story. So we're going to tap in with Jello Music. It's his first time submitting. I'm looking forward to hearing some new music, man. This is why I love doing it. I always, I feel like every week I get a couple new people and I get to discover some new music, bro. It's so nice to sit down and just enjoy music. That being said, let's tap in. <laughs> Cut 
cause her eyes like pearls Her hair was done hanging down with some curls She popped into my head, I sat on my She came up to me, I don't know why She got wings on her back, I think she fly Oh, and her name is Lil' Kai So this the album I wanna tell you everything But you gonna doubt it I want you to hear my heart and hear my story these lyrics, scream them harder, scream them louder You better know my range, or my tongue, cause I'm about it I don't wanna hear no haters chiming, they may just go doubt it So I want you to feel my rage, rage, rage one more time And once you hear the story, you'll understand what's on my mind Yo, 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 so... Bro, I'm still going. Oh, yeah, bro. Dude, the streams are usually like five to six hours. So, yo, Jello. So, did you... Uh, I, I want to ask, too, because I saw the first one, I think, was a production. So, did you produce, like, that beat as well? So, did you, like, rap and produce an engineer? Or I'm just... I just want to, like, know that breakdown. You know what I mean? That way, I can critique, critique like, accordingly and stuff like that. Okay, so right off the bat, like, um, in terms of the beat, I think the beat is like, is like, like ten out of ten. Like I co-signed that beat one hundred percent. I really like the beat, super clean mix on the beat. It, it's it's really nice and stuff like that. Um, I like the vibe of the song too a lot. The mixing is really clean. Your, your vocals are are pretty, pretty good. Like I think the mix is pretty decent. I agree with uh with Fazo in terms of like layering your voice a little bit just for certain parts not like the entire time but like certain parts for sure um my thing is it's this is actually there's another guy named sean that submits like almost every week and i was talking about this last time he submitted as well like he does kind of like the it's kind of like the same thing where the vocal range like when you come in with that like like talking about literally your vocal range and stuff like that and you start singing and that's like majority of it i really like that a lot and i think it's like mixed pretty good it's like a pretty good vibe like there's i think there's some punch-ins that maybe could have just hit a little bit more just like a slight bit more like confidence and like like attacking the mic and stuff i don't know your age personally or anything like that so i don't know like where you are in that stage of like starting to rap and stuff like that but i think just that beginning part like your hook i'm not a fan of it's the same thing with sean it's just it's like you have like a, a voice to sing and it's like when you do like the rapping stuff it kind of it throws off the entire vibe of it in my opinion like your voice is a lot better as a singing voice than doing like that rapping thing which like you know like kind of like the more not as a vocal rangey part of it so like the hook essentially I'm not the biggest fan of, I think if you just did the singing like throughout it, like you did uh, singing stuff like that, like, you know, hitting like the higher range and, and uh, expanding your, your range of your vocals throughout the entire song, instead of having the, the, the chorus be just kind of like more, you know, just like more of a monotone type of rap. I think the song would be like a million times better. Like overall, like I like the song, like literally if it just didn't have that hook, I think it would be like a super hit. Like, I think it'd be super good. Like your mixing's pretty decent. There's like layering, but that's not make or break. I just think 100% your, your like, um, your chorus or whatever, it'd sound better if it was like, um, you know, sung out and stuff like that. And just like, um, I think like a little bit of, um, if you put a little bit more effort, like this is a subtle thing. It's not a make or break, but like into, into songwriting and stuff like that. Cause, cause the, the writing can come off a little bit generic. I'm just like, I'm honest, bro. Like this, I, I give like my honest opinions and stuff like that. I want people to improve and stuff like that at the end of the day. So I think like a little bit more effort into song songwriting too would go a long way. So overall, the beat's 10 out of 10. The mix is like an, an 8 out of 10. And then the song, like the the lyric, like the the vocal range where you were like hitting everything, I thought to me was like a 9 out of 10. But then like the rapping part kind of make made it like go like that rapping part. Literally to me personally, it's like it makes it like a 4 or 3 out of 10. Just to like break down because you did everything. So I want to like break down. So I want to critique like every single aspect of what you did with the song and stuff like that. But yeah, I really like it. I think you're, it's really dope that you're making your own sound. Like, and you can tell based on the beat and you recording that like it is like all you, um, if that makes sense. 
but yeah, are you are you still in the chat? I just haven't seen. Uh, what do you think about my feedback? You you cool with it? I appreciate your submission, by the way, and um, I hope to hear more. Yeah, bro. Oh yeah. Okay, sick. All right, I'm glad you're still here. Yeah, I just wanted to explain that to you and stuff like that. But I want to hear more for you, bro. Um, I want to hear more. Like, like definitely continue to submit. Like, I'd love to love to hear more songs from you. Especially your production is really good. It's like it's like actually like top quality. Like I can see you getting like, like any any literally like any like like a nav placement or something like that or like Uzi like easily with that beat. Like the mix is like perfect, bro. Like the master and shit. I'm telling you, like that that beat the beat is an actual ten out of ten. Like. It's cool that you rap too and stuff, but like your beats are like crazy. So if rapping gets your beats out there and stuff and then can make you those connections, definitely do that. But like your beats are like, are, well, the only beat I heard so far is really good. Like the mix and everything like, like that beats like a ton of time. I co-signed the beat 100%. I have, I have no complaints about that beat. The beat was super solid. No, that's what's up, Jello. That's fire. I'm looking forward to hearing more, bro. C continue to submit. I do this every week, every Monday, bro. Submit something. I will listen. That being said, put some dubs in the chat for Jello. Dude is uh, self-made, does it all on his own. We got to give pre credit and respect to that. And let's move on. So where are we at right now? Let me know if you're in the chat right now, just so I know who's here. I can make sure if I have to bounce backwards, I do. Uh, you know, it's hard to keep track of all this. So just uh, appreciate you in chat. That's dope, bro. That's dope. I appreciate you too, bro, and I and I can't wait to hear more from you. Okay, what's good, Toki or Tuki? What's good? <laughs> My bad, bro. <laughs> I'm a little bit fried. We got Stunna in here. We got Tuki. We got Hex. We got Fazo still. Let's see. So right now I have Stunna next, Hellboy, Skyboy, and Fazo. If Skyboy's still here, I don't think he is. If he is, that would be dope. Um, so we'd have Stunna Vita, Hellboy, who I don't think is here right now. So honestly, bro, I think it's Stunna, and then it goes right to you, Fazo, and then Mo if he's back, any other one, Nightmare Beats. So I'm hyped, I'm hyped, I'm hyped. Anyways, um, Sleepy in here. Sleepy, did you submit? I don't, I don't know if I saw your submission or... Like, do you go by a different name? I know you're, like, lock in with, like, SK and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, you would be... You, Tuki, you're probably like way at the bottom though. Like when I'm scrolling through, you submitted. Okay, let me see. I'll, I'll like give you guys a pretty much exact order. Okay, based on who I know is here, Stunna, it's gonna be Stunna, Fazo, any other one if he's still here. Nightmare Beats, Sleepy, Hex, and then it's gonna be uh, Tuki. All right, before I play your stuff, Stunna. So just so you know, Stunna, this song is. Um, it's produced by me. He copped a beat off of me. I'm super excited to hear what he did. It's not mixed or anything yet. I've got to tap in and uh, see if I can if I can work my magic on mixing. I'm not I'm not like an engineer engineer, but I kind of have an idea of what I'm doing. That being said, I'm going to grab water really quick and go to the bathroom, and then I will be back. In the meantime, I'll do what I did last time. I'll I'll play some some beats let me just pull up a random pack to start playing um i want to find like i'll just play like my glow beats all right bathroom and going to get a drink i will be right back and then we're playing stun Vita.
tell you, run that shit back. Yo, 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 I'm back, Unk is back, Unk is back, yo, let's go. Motherfuckers always be leaving, bro, I, I don't even know, like, how do I, like, take bathroom breaks without people leaving? It feels like an impossible challenge, bro, I'm not gonna lie. It's like, it's like, I need to go to the bathroom, what is, I'm about to, like, install a bathroom in this bitch, I swear to God. It's like way too difficult like I, every time i swear i go to the bathroom i i try i play beats whatever what do you guys I, I hope you guys are rocking with them those are like some older glow beats that i did that's that's my little glow sauce there but uh yeah so that being said we got stun Vita, we got hellboy skyboy phaso eric nightmare sleepy uh, excuse me hex Tuki, dedication, and then Faisal fucking submitting another one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So this Stena Vita song produced by me. I haven't actually listened gotten the chance to listen to it yet, so I'm I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. I hope I hope y'all are tapped in. I hope I, I didn't take too long. My apologies. My apologies, man. You just have to go to the bathroom sometimes, you know. I, I can't be perfect. Imagine, bro. Imagine if I did like a six-hour stream and just just held it in the whole time. Like, it's it's not that I couldn't. It's not that it's impossible for me not to do that. It's more the fact that like because I'm talking, I have to like consistently like drink water and stay hydrated and stuff like that. I think that's the factor. But anyways, I'm gonna stop yapping. I am going to listen to Stunavita's submission on my beat. Yo, Stun, are you still in here, right? I just wanna make sure, bro. I wanna make sure. I don't wanna play your submission <laughs> if you like left for a second. Okay, bet, bet. I just want to be. I I just want to be sure, bro. I just want to be sure. You never know, right? That being said, I'm gonna turn off my mic and let's tap in with what bro cooked.
I've been feeling lost, but I'm sorry for the setback. So many times you do me wrong, I need my get back. I don't need nobody, but sometimes I want my friends back. Cigarette smoke in my lungs, I hear that. Yo, 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 uh, that's what's up, so that was Stunna on my beat, um, critique wise, you know, in terms of the beat, I think, uh, the mix was 10 out of 10, the, the arrangement was 10 out of 10, it had a lot of nice switch ups, it was, it was 10 out of 10 beat, <laughs> totally, totally not biased, I swear I am not being biased right now, but, in terms of the song, I do like it, Stunna. I think I think it's um it's it's a super it's a super like uh good chill vibe and stuff like that. Um my thoughts on the like mixing, obviously the mixing need, needs some work and stuff like that. And I feel like doing a high like a high voice with like as the layer, I would rather just have it like a, a like a doubled out layer to make your vocals a little bit thicker just because it's like a little bit quiet your vocals but again that's like a mix thing at the end of the day i do really like the the song overall i just think like like honestly bro the way i want to do it i think we should just hop in a discord call soon when i get the chance we can do it we can like run through the mix um and just like tweak things out and and put it all together to make it like a good song like if you don't know if, if you if you get beats for me if you caught beats for me i like to be like super involved you can ask like zori or like any other artist i work with like i like to be like super involved in the entire process and make sure like before it's released it's like exactly where i want it to be if that makes sense so i definitely want to do that with you because that, that would be hard i can see the potential and where we can go with that song and uh yeah i'm looking forward to it looking forward to working on that more bro i'm glad you hopped on that beat it's dope it's really hard to find um, artists. I gotta I gotta lock in with Clover, bro, because I have like R and B shit. Like I have I have a bunch of R and B like dancehall type shit like that. Um, like super clean stuff like that. And it's like I don't really know enough artists. Okay, okay, yes, Fazo, Fazo, yeah. I'm one hundred percent. It I see it right here, bro. You're next up. You're next up anyways. You got this, Fazo. No, you do. Clover, you need to hop on an unbeat, I swear. I gotta, I'll put together like a little R&B thing for you to check out, for real. Yeah, you and Stunna, I think, would make some dope dope music. Yeah, bro, you guys need... I, I, sent you, I sent you the packs, bro. You just need to let me know. Just let me know, bro. Let me know what you want from the pack. And and and, and we'll, we'll do it, bro. We'll do it up. And then you already know I'll help you be involved in the mix, everything like that. I'll help you guys uh, push the song. You know, I, I want us all to win at the end of the day. That's why I'm here. That being said, Fazo, I got you right now. I am sorry about it taking so long. I appreciate you tuning in the entire stream, bro. That's like super real. And I've been excited to listen to yours because I know you're mixing be straight. I'm going to turn off my mic and we're going to bump some prod Fazo. 1999.
<laughs> bro got me doing the unk dance. Bro got me, bro got me the, bro got me jiggy with it, bro. That was that was fire, bro. I love that. Such a such a good vibe. Beats like that are so dope. They're so timeless. It, it's like a timeless type beat, bro. No, the mix is good, bro. I thought the mix was pretty solid. I I don't have too many complaints about the mix at all. Like I didn't really think it was i thought i thought it was a solid mix bro everything every frequency had its spot bro i didn't i didn't hear any uh muddiness at all honestly that's what that's a different type of swag hell yeah bro no that was sick i really like that bro it's that shit that makes you want to get up and you're just like oh shit yeah yeah you're just like vibing bro like i, I fuck with it bro phaso phaso strikes again phaso the the fucking phaso has not gotten no Unc cosine, bro. I have to always give him the, the unc cosine, bro. Cause that dude just, oh my gosh, it's crazy. It's actually nuts. Bounces insane, bro. Is just immaculate with it. Honestly, I love it, bro. Like ten, ten out of ten, bro. Is uh, prod phaso in unc cosine is just like always, always happening. But yeah, I really like it, bro. It's 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 really hard. I actually like it a lot. No pause. Mm -mm. Nope. Nah, but for real, that's hard, bro. Faze, we gotta, we gotta like try to lock in any shit for real. You got that bounce. But yeah, Faze, have a good night. I appreciate you tuning in for the stream for so long, bro. And and I'm glad I got to hear your submission. Shit was fire. Shit was really good, bro. Definitely looking forward to to working in the future and you working with the team as well. Wink, wink. That means head. Have a good night, bro. Appreciate you submitting. And as always, bro, I hope to see you next week and, and hear some more. That being said, okay, if you're here right now, let me know. Because, like, currently I have, like, Hellboy, Skyboy, both if he came back, Eric, Nightmare, Sleepy, Hex, Dedication. Oh, wait, no, before that, Tuki and then Dedication. Yeah, definitely, bro. Clover, tap in. Because, like, I think that beat was that he got was from that pack. Bet, Skyboy, nice to see you back. I've I, I've heard your submissions before. Exciting to hear your next one right now. I'm about to tap in. I'll stop yapping. He said this shit mid. I don't know what to name this. Four-minute beat is crazy, though. Um, Unless it's, like, uh, unless you have, like, ten switch-ups. But, uh, yeah, like, uh, one tip, producers, especially newer ones. Uh, excuse me make almost all your beats like around like like in between one minute and 40 seconds and two minutes long like i swear like if beats are too beats just be too long like most songs aren't and you want like even like from a perspective if if, if you make like a three and a half minute beat and the artist hops on the whole thing you're increasing the amount of money you're making because it's gonna decrease the amount of sh like restreams people get like if you make a, a beat and it's like a minute and 28 seconds for example and the artist hops on it for a minute and 28 seconds, then the song ends too soon. And then it, that makes the listener want to replay the song, which is like sauce. Cause you want to get people to replay the song. You want to be uh, getting streams and stuff like that. Little doodle bop for KT just liked my track on side. Who the bro? Who the fuck is little doodle bop for KT? Little, little doodle bop. 4KT. 30 second beat. Skyboy got the strap. That's Mr. Krabs 4PF top op. That's insane. <laughs> bro, Hex, you're funny as fuck, bro. Always a pleasure to have Hex on this chat. Always saying some funny, goofy shit. That being said, Skyboy, I'm about to tap in right now. I'm going to mute myself. I'm going to play this stuff. Let's, let's, let's go on this, this little, I don't know what to name this journey.
Yo, 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 yo. That was dope. That was super unique, bro. Um, how do you how do you make the beats exactly? Like with the like, do you play all like do you play the guitar riffs and stuff like that? Do you do you like play the piano and everything like that? Like how do you how do you like tap in like that? I'm just like curious, like what your studio looks like. Like if you just have like like this equipment set up, or if you're just completely automating it, which would be super interesting as well. Or if like there's maybe like you're using loops or something like that. I'm just curious, like how how you're uh, putting them together because they're like definitely like rock type of uh compositions you know what i mean like like or, well like metal not rock it's actually funny too that you submitted that because like bro i literally just found this today i feel like you guys are all too young for this but if you know you know let me shut the light on this. have you guys you guys know what this shit is the um what's it called it the guitar hero fucking uh belt buckle it's like a i feel like you guys are too young but um when i was a kid this thing it has like a plug and you would plug it into like uh like this little mini speaker so you'd put this on your belt buckle and you plug it into a speaker that would also like hang off your pants and um and it had like a guitar pick and you could like strum a guitar with this like guitar pick because when it went like back and forth it like strummed so like it was like a toy when you were kids is like a guitar hero belt buckle so you could just like fucking walk around and like air guitar and like it'll actually like play like the fucking song that like is like there was like uh what's it called in the speaker there was like these ds cartridges if that makes sense like they were like ds cartridges that like you like put in for different songs that shit was so far yeah yeah, it was like a mini guitar amp. It was like, yeah, like, I wish I still had the whole thing. I just found the belt buckle, bro, today. And I was like, yo, that's crazy. That was actually cool as fuck. I'm not going to lie. As a kid, I thought that was like the coolest thing ever. You could play air guitar. But um, that being said, the guitars are real and the drums are just MIDI. I, I like Guitar Hero Warriors. That's fire. What game is that? I don't think I've ever played Guitar Hero Warriors specifically. Um, But what's good, Cosmo? What's good? um skyboy though in terms of like the the if i'm going to critique it i like the arrangements and stuff like that i just think for the guitars when you have like the piano in the background i think it should like come out because it kind of like doesn't hit the same root notes as the piano is hitting in certain instances in, in like the triplet the ju -ju 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 like thing i i feel like it it doesn't like match the same type of thing just in terms of like the notes that it's hitting in in those parts but that's it because there's another part that it's not that like background piano and stuff like that and it does hit properly if that makes sense there's just like certain uh parts of the arrangement i would have uh taken taken like a melody part out or something like that but the drum mix and everything's pretty solid for like uh the, that genre and stuff like that there could be a little bit more low end uh in the mix in my opinion but i thought i thought it was overall pretty fire bro um i appreciate your submission it's super cool though i i really like your beats because they're like a lot different and stuff like that like they're like that's just some different shit like nobody's doing that and like for it to be like four minutes is definitely listenable because there's a lot of progression throughout it and stuff like that and, and it seemed like it was telling a story so uh definitely definitely rock i give it a nine out of ten rock ons or was i there to see a blink in an office that's crazy that's crazy bro I'm literally not that old. I'm not that old, bro. Bro is not that old, okay? Clover be wildin'. But uh, put some put some W's in the chat for Skyboy for that, like, M Metallica. Uh, not Metallica. What, what's it called? What's that show that used to be on, like, Teletoon at night? Oh, you guys are all young, bro. I need, like, some, like, old heads in this bitch just to ask, like, specific questions of, like, childhood situations. I swear it's like every time I try to reference my childhood or like when I was young, it's it's like, yeah, metal, metal, op, metal, metal, or whatever. Yeah, that show, bro. That show was fucking sick. At least, you know. OK, yo, shout out to Hex for like actually knowing what I'm talking about half the time. Like, that's nice. At least at least I'm not the old, only old fucking person, bro. OK, that being said, shout out to Skyboy. Appreciate your submission. Looking forward to hearing more. All right, who's here right now? I need to know who is here so that I can figure out. If you are here right now, start spamming the chat that you're here. Be like, I'm here, I'm here, or some shit. Like, I don't fucking know, bro. Just... Uh... Yo, somebody sampled that 
burp and put it in a beat. We got dedication. We got nightmare. Who else? Chat, clip that. Chat, chat, clip that. Chat, literally clip it. Guys, guys, literally clip it. Oh my gosh. Chat, clip that. I don't give a fuck about the 808. Bro, that, that song is so bad. But it's like bad. It's like funny, bro. It cracks me up. Fucking. That being said. Okay. So, Eric's not here right now. From what I see, it's going to be Nightmare Beats, Sleepy, Hex. And then uh, Tukey. I don't think he's here though anymore. So it, it, from the people that are here right now that I'm aware of, it's Nightmare, Sleepy, Hex, and Dedication. That's what I got. And then is there anyone after Dedication? Nope. Sick. All right. Eric, if you're here, talk now or forever. Hold your peace. All right. I guess we're going with Nightmare. Nightmare. Okay. You submitted to you. You got Clutch. And you got radioactive. Which one do you want? Damn, I should disconnect it for a second, bro. That was a jump scare. I don't know. How, how much did you guys miss there? Am I like, bro, am I still alive? Because it like disconnected for a second. Okay, I, I must be. I must be. Okay. You'll let me choose. Okay. Based on the names, I'm going to go with Radioactive because Clutch is some, sounds like some car shit. Oh my gosh. It's cozy. Yeah. I get that drift from my what? I get that drift from my what? What's good? What's good, cozy? All right. All right. I'm about to tap in with Radioactive from Nightmare Beats. See what broke cooked. Got to mute myself. I'm going to turn up the monitors. So that was the submission from Nightmare Beats Radioactive. 
My thoughts on it, I did fuck with it. So, um, like the like like they were saying the snare bounce with like the hi hats and everything, like your whole uh like top line slash percussion bounce was like super clean. I really like that. The eight oh eight bounce was like pretty pretty good too and stuff like that. It could have like varied and switched up a little bit, but um overall I think that the buzz like uh was really, really cool and really, really unique. But um the only thing was it should have been like do 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 like it went like one above of the note that it should have hit in my opinion um and it could have been like a little bit louder like i like the mix of it it just it just needs to be leveled up that that part and i think with the beat what you should have done is it, it gets because it's like really cool and like unique but it's like eight bars overplayed i think what like everything was kind of in like more 16 bar segments whereas i feel like they the bounce would have went a lot better and like um like eight bars per segment uh and switch up and stuff like that and the melody as well is just like uh it is just like like the drum basically it's like the drum bounce is like super hard and super fire that whole thing is fire but the melody is like practically like nothing and gets like really stale and boring quick just because it's like there's nothing happening it's just almost like a couple ambient pads layered over each other with like a low pass filter on it and uh it just gets a little bit boring there needs to be like a top line or something to really like uh like bring the melody to life because it's a little bit under underwhelming and stuff like that yeah nightmare uh i would definitely recommend just like having consistent like change-ups like just make your beats a little bit it's not more busy it's just like make the arrangements more active because uh like when things like loop around for a while it gets a little bit repetitive it gets it dulls out right like like the things like lose their spark if you know what i mean like it's like the the initial thing is like i hear the beat i hear the sign i was like oh this is hard and like over time because of the repetition and, and and nothing uh progressing being like built on and then uh taken apart it makes the listener kind of like it's like okay like you know i i get the point now of uh of the thing you know what i mean but I do fuck with it. It's a good vibe. Like it's definitely a good beat, one hundred percent. But uh, that's that's my critiques. I'm looking forward to hearing more from you. That being said, uh, is anybody still here that has submitted? Like, just because uh, doesn't look like there's too many people left. And I just want to make sure I I went through everyone. Okay, so you're still here, Hex. We got Hex. We got med dedication. We got Sleepy. Okay. Who else? Who else? Because if that's who we got right now. Um, next up is Sleepy. Then Hex. Then Dedication. And then we would be done. Then it would be over. Because you know, I do not do... I'm not going to review people's music if they're not in here. That's just that's just how it is. I want to be able to give feedback, like actual feedback. It kind of defeats the purpose. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want people that are waiting in chat for their stuff to be listened to, to have to, like, for me to play people's stuff. Like, nobody's going to, like, go back in the stream and, like, try to find when I reviewed them. I mean, some people might, but it's not worth that. You know what I mean? Like, like if, you, if you submit, just make sure... If I'm taking the time, basically, look, it's it's this simple. If I'm taking the time out of my day to listen to your craft, you can take the time out of your day to listen to my feedback. That's how I feel about it. And like, I'm also just trying to help in general. Like when I do the feedback, it's actually to be helpful and stuff like that. And like people that aren't too, like, it's like, I can't really help you if you're not in the, in the stream. You know what I mean? Anyways, that being said, next up, we actually have sleepy, bro. I'm ex I'm excited to hear what you cooked up. We got glow fragments, 143 BPM. I'm about to mi mute my mic. I'm about to see what Sleepy be cooking for real.
Yo, yo, uh, that's what's up, Sleepy. That's what's up, bro. As a super fire beat, I really liked it, bro. I I liked um, the arrangement. Um, it was really good, like in terms of like the drums and everything like that. The 808s are like a teensy, like there might be, I don't know, like if it's like soft clipper compression, they're just a teensy bit muddy, just like a tiny bit. The 808s are just a bit muddy. Um, it could be the sound selection too, honestly. Um, but it's not, it's not like a, it, they bump really hard. So it's not like necessarily like a, a break in the deal. Dude, like if I'm going to, if I gave like one piece of feedback, like the only one you should actually take. It's just the that Vox, like the yeah ho or something, whatever that is, bro, or yo ho or whatever. I I don't know what the fuck it is. Um, it's fire, but it's like I was I've said with like other submissions, um, it's like cool and unique at first, but it loses its spark because it's so um frequent, like it's in the the entire beat, like practically the entire time, right? So after a while, it gets. Like, repet like it loses that charm. Like I said, like, that's like a huge thing. Like it loses the, the sparkle. Like, like that's like something that makes the beat unique and it gives it like an, a little bit of extra, like, like a spice, but because it's overplayed constantly, it it's like, it's almost like you, you get, um, you're just used to it. It's, it does. It's not as, um, it's not as spicy. It's like, if you start eating spicy food or you eat like spicy food, you're like, wow, that's spicy. But then if you like, eat a lot then it's not as spicy because your taste buds are built. like you know what i mean you get used to it. your brain listening to the song gets used to it but yeah so that that's my feedback bro um i appreciate you submitting bro sleepy like like i said that is quite literally like the only thing like even the 808s are, are actually fine in my opinion like like i i will recant my 808 statement and i will stick just with the um with just the the box just the box Coming in a little bit less frequently, and I think and I think it's gas. I think it's gas. Yeah, of course, bro. I appreciate you too. I, I hope you keep uh, submitting every week, bro. It's I love hearing it. Your stuff's fire. It's like it's like um, beats I wouldn't t typically hear. That's like with a lot of things. I hear a lot of beats that I typically wouldn't hear. I appreciate you submitting. I appreciate everybody that submits. It's it's a really good vibe. I I love taking the time, man. Almost five hours just just sitting here with you guys, listening to your music, and being able to give that feedback can't wait for everybody to win bro that's all i want at the end of the day that being said we got hex next and then we got dedication and then i think that's it unless you're in the chat unless you're in the chat also put some w's in the chat for sleepy my bad bro i need to get used to that shit bro All right. That being said, we got we got hex next up. Just gonna make sure I'm gonna give like one more warning that I'm gonna be done after two. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, and then. Um. All right, all right. Let's see, Hex. Let's see what you're cooking up, bro. I'm gonna mute myself. You know, you you know the drill. I mute myself. Turn up the speakers and see what vibe you're on for real. Of these drugs too damn much, I can't get sleep at night. I shift the clutch, I'm starting up, and when I see the light, and when I see the light, I feel like I'ma die. Feel like I'ma die, huh? Feel like I'ma die. Huh? You just wiped up on my life and get back in the line. Ask me how I'm doing, I'ma just lie in and say I'm fine. I've been out here chilling, sipping hype, and she's sipping.
sipping wine Feel like I win and that's my mind Just like I am Tony, I go out of the edge I'ma stick right to my grind Tryna cash out on all these diamonds Tryna make me go blind Pray to God he give me signs Pray to God he give me signs It's all that I'm at a time Just like I am Tony, I go out of the edge I'ma stick right to my grind Tryna cash out on all these diamonds Tryna make me go blind Pray to God he give me signs It's all that I'm at a time it's all that I'm at a time now I need you right now Need you here right now Don't fight with me, girl Need you to pipe down And put this mic down That's all my life now I chose my path You chose the way you feel And they found you a music for a while People in this city But the one thing they love me Yo. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I actually really like that vibe. I that's probably my favorite submission I've heard from you so far. Um obviously like there's there's like room for improvement in terms of the mixing. Also, like just the mix of the beat wasn't that great. Like the beat vibe was like pretty alright, but the mix of the beat, like the beat was kinda like I was not a fan of the beat. I liked your your vocal delivery a lot more though and stuff like that. Like I feel like if you had a good mix, I would be actually like a banger. I really liked like the flows you hit and the cadence that you're bringing to the track. Like like your cadence is like solid and that one is really nice. Um there's like a couple takes that I feel like need to be like especially at the beginning it's kind of like you're slightly off the beat, but then like as it goes along you actually like hop back on the beat. Um so I think like just that beginning part maybe needs to just needs a retake like a like a second um punch in uh but and like the mixing like i said uh like it needs some work uh, the vocals were a little bit quiet as well but i did really really like the song like i really hear the potential in that i feel like if that was like touched up on like a bet on a on a way better beat and and just like fixed up like that could definitely be like like an actual like really really good song that i would like 100 percent like uh like 100 percent. it just it just needs the fixing like i like the the vision and the potential is there like i see it it just needs to um just needs like the the work around like the quality improvement um that being said i appreciate your submission hex <coughs> yo is killer in the chat bro this dude submitted and then just submitted again i don't think he if if he's in the chat yo if you're in the chat i'm sorry but i don't think you he knows that beating music review is like on live stream like i'm doing a live because he already submitted but I don't, I don't think he ever hopped in the live stream um but yeah hex that was a vibe bro i fucked with the hell yeah Dub, dubs for hex bro i can't wait to, i can't wait to see the the potential or like i can't wait to see the your potential go to it or i can't wait to see you go to your full potential bro bro is stuttering bro bro is stuttering it's been a long stream okay bro it's been, it's been a long one the caffeine pill got me crashing. That being said, I guess we have dedication and then we are done. Unless somebody decides to pop in. If somebody pops in and I haven't played their submission, I'll definitely do that. Like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna end the live unless I did everybody who has joined the live submission. But this if nobody joins, this is the last one. So the last one we got is from dedication. So which one do you want me to do? Dedication? You uh oh wait. Yeah, you just submitted one. Perfect. Okay. I'm about to mute my mic. We'll listen to dedication submission and then I'm calling it a night unless somebody else joins. Quando ela passa no baile, geral chama ela de gostosa. Quando ela passa no baile, geral chama ela de gostosa. Que que ela é? Gostosa. Que que ela é? Gostosa. Ela passa se esfregando no peito, no chão.
querendo ser tocado Essa pirão tá igual violino Tô querendo ser tocado Eu vi na cara e passa a barra Yo, dedication, that was a vibe, bro, I liked that a lot, bro, I, I liked pretty much everything about it, I feel like you're really mastering that sound, um, like, for, for what it is, it, it's really good, dude, there's one thing, it's, there's al almost always one thing, uh, the only thing is that, like, duh, duh, like, that noise, the duh, duh, it's a little bit too loud in the, like, the, like, the mix is too loud and, like, very, very harsh, and the um and i think it that da da should be like one note lower on on the piano roll like it should be one note lower than where it's at um in terms of the mix i feel like it's pretty solid it's got like a nice um like a strong mix it's just that that is like the one thing for sure in the mix it's just so much like louder and like really pierces through compared to everything else to a point where it's just it's too much like i know that that it's meant to be loud but it's it just it is far too loud and i think it needs to be down like one more on the piano like if you literally brought that down like one on the piano roll just just one note i think it would be like on on the same root note as the uh like the uh kick if that makes sense um that being said i appreciate you guys this is your last chance if you're in here and i haven't played your stuff i only see three viewers so i figure not Figure that's not the case. Um, but yeah, that being said, bro, appreciate your submission dedication. I appreciate everybody that's submitted. I know there's not a lot of you left in here now, but uh, I, it was a really good stream. I, I really vibed out. I think I'm going to try to see if, if I can pull up machine. I'm probably just going to cook up a little bit on live just just because. Um, so I'm going to do that. If it works, if it doesn't work, then sacrilege. But have a good night, dedication. Unless you're unless you're sticking around, I'm gonna launch machine right now and, and see what happens. Come on, there we go. All right, let's see, let's see. Um, preferences. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Boom. Cook up. Hey, okay. All right. I'm going to I'm going to test this. I'm going to I'm going to test, bro. I might I might I might be cooking up. I might cook up. Just got to make sure the audio works. I got to mute myself though to to hear it. Let's see. Let's see if it works, bro. I I might just start cooking. All right. Well, I can cook. I can cook live. I'm going to see if anyone's interested. Might as well. So we're going to stop with the music reviews. We're going to do a little bit of cooking up because why not? Unless somebody, if somebody pops in chat, then, then I'll definitely play their stuff. But I'm going to try to cook up some, some people's loops. Oh yeah, everyone. Yeah, bro. It's, um, I pretty much played everyone's submissions that were in here. So I can play yours, Eric, if you want. Also, if you have loops, send them, bro. I might just be cooking up live. I just kind of like, 
figured this shit out. I figured out how I could uh, cook up on live. So, yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you, Eric. Yeah, because you like left a minute ago. There was a couple people here. Like you were before some other people, but you weren't in the chat. Bets. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, send them to Discord or something. I think. I think that should be fine. Um. Okay. I'm going to tap in with yours right now. I got to mute myself. And I'm going to see what you're cooking, bro. That was hard. I really like the 808 bounce and, and like how you kind of like hit all those upper notes and stuff like that. I feel like it's good length, good mix. I mean, I mean, it's placement ready, bro. It's always placement ready with you, Eric. I swear. Bro is the CEO of uh, placement ready beats. Eric, definitely send him loops if, if you would. Like if somebody's in here with some loops and stuff. What's my email? Um, Just do uh, connerymakesbeats at gmail.com. Bro, it's weird though. Like, it's like nine sixteen. Everyone's like, it's like so dead, which is what's surprising to me. Oh yeah, Tundra. Yeah, this is this is my dog, bro. This is my dog. It's goaded, bro. It's actually goaded. Okay, but I'll peep the loops. But this this dog is so far. I'm not gonna lie. Hold up, I'll, I'll just throw some. I'll throw a little little beat ski on or something. Oh wait, what was this one? With seal, start on a beat while I download your stuff. <laughs>
Yo, yeah, for real. We need we need some labs, one hundred percent. Where do you send loops? Um, yo, Eric, could you do the same thing? Like, if it's a link, cause I I can't find my Connery makes beats emails now. All right. Oh, my Connery makes beats email. Um, could you just throw it in the in the loops in the cord? Just it would be so much easier for me because then I could just download them right off cord and then. And then I can just cook up. It's just easier than me, like, trying to go through my email that way. It's, like, because, like, I have, like, four different Google accounts, and Google accounts are so annoying, bro, because it's, like, they, like, take over your browser or something. It, to me, that's so annoying. Like, I hate that shit. Um, it's my new laptop. I don't really have that much shit on here, bro. Fucking Colin's goaded, bro. The only thing is, when I'm going to be cooking, like, once I start cooking on the loops or whatever, I'm going to, like, because I'm using my monitors, bro. I don't want to use headphones. Like, I hate cooking with headphones. Like, defeats the whole purpose of spending money on studio monitors. Um, So, when I start cooking, I'm just going to mute my mic and, like, move it aside and just start cooking. And then, if people are in chat talking, whatever, I'll, I'll like, respond. I'll, like, pause the beat, respond or something. Or if I have to say something. The people that stayed in the stream get to see a live unk cook up. I'm kind of excited, bro, because because I don't cook up like with like I don't have like a cooking up strategy. I just like I'll just literally listen to the loops that you send, and if I find one that I'm vibing with, I'll just download it. Uh, I'll flip it, and I'll see like like if I throw drums on it. I there's no perfect formula, bro. Sometimes I I like start a beat and then I can't finish it. I just like lose the vibe that I had. Um. Plus, it's weird cooking up live, bro. I, I I haven't really done it before. It would be a first. Like, sometimes I'd be like, I'll, like, cook up a beat, like, fast as fuck, bro. I'll be, like, make a beat in, like, five minutes. Like, like just the drum pattern and everything like that. I'll just be bumping. Other times it takes longer. I'm trying to go for, like, that five to ten minute cook up. And it's cool. I'll do it on a stream, bro. Eric, we could drop a little, um, little collab reel or something. I just clip the stream. You're new to the cord. Um, yeah, so just post it in the loop section, literally in the producer zone, just loops. I'll check it out right now. Like, uh, that's what I'll go through. Like, it's just uh, at the deadline cord, it's prod zone loops. And I'll, like, cook up on them. Bet, bro. How did you, uh, EJ certified, how did you find the, uh, like the video, did you like? Do you follow me? Do you follow Underground Unk or somebody you know in here, or did you just find it through YouTube? Uh, every stream lately, I've been able to find like somebody through the YouTube and stuff like that. Let me just let me know when you uh when you did send it because I'm just waiting. Might as well wait. I'm not gonna like if you're here, I'll cook up on your loops type shit. You know what I mean? Oh, word! That's what's up. That's fire. Hell yeah! No, this cord this cord's good, bro. I love the vibes. Honestly, been able to do like. A lot, honestly, it's, it's just been good. We're growing fast, doing the streams, good vibes, bro. I mean, just spent five hours doing music, beat reviews, and stuff like that. Bro, got the slow uh, PC. <sighs> Yo, Eric, are you still here, bro? I feel like Eric left. How many people, like, because I don't think that the stream, is there only three people? I just want to be sure. So I'm not 100% sure if it's, like, actually accurate on the, on Streamlabs. 
If there's only three, they I like for sure that actually makes sense. Because I mean, I did like all of the people's music, bro. Five hours worth of music reviewing, crazy. Let's see, let's see. Low key, I might just find loops and cook up. I just don't want to wait too long. That's all. This is just dead space in in the in the live and stuff like that. So I'm gonna cook some stuff right now on uh, Cullen's loops. Oh, you just sent a few through. Okay, bet I was about to say. Um, I don't see it. I don't know if I'm tripping. Hold on. Oh, is it EJ EJ certified? Okay, bet. Bet. Let me go through these right now. I'm going to mute myself. Okay, and you sent through to Eric. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let's see. Yo, Eric, where did you slide yours? Oh, they sending. Bro, is Discord that slow? Am I like tripping, bro? I swear whenever I try to send stuff, it's it's like so fast. Oh, I guess you're like sending a bunch at once, right? That's probably why. That actually makes sense. Bro, I, I, I be sending singles. Oh, you're doing it on your phone. That's why, too. That's what's up. That's what's up. So I'm just going to do it in order. I'll go through Eric's loops first because he was like the first to be sending or asking to send and stuff like that. And he already sent it to my email. I just didn't pull it up. Then I'll go for you, EJ certified. I'm just, I'm not going to like cook up on all, like I'm just going to like go through the loops, pick one that I'm like, okay, I can lay drums on and then just speed run it. You know what I mean? Just try to cook up a beat fast. Not actually speed running, bro. Speed running beats is like low key corny, but um, just want to cook up some quick beats, bro. I might as well, because, like, just doing this at the tail end of the stream, I'm not even too worried about people watching at this point. It's more just I can, if I do this right now, then I can, like, actually, like, clip something. Yeah, no worries, Eric. No worries. It's only been, like, ten and a half minutes of, uh, of Dead Space. No big deal. No big deal. I definitely want to do like an actual cook up stream though soon. I just like it's just something new for me, I guess. Like it's something I haven't done before, right? At least I know I can like make it work with the speakers and everything. I think the problem with the cook up stream is the fact that like I want to use my monitors and I can't what's it called? I can't I can't really be like talking on the microphone and using my monitors at the same time. It just won't work like that. It's plugged in the same audio interface. And obviously if I'm playing music out of speakers uh excuse me. Obviously if I'm playing music out of speakers, it's gonna end up like feedback and stuff with the microphone. So I pretty much just would have to like lock in and just cook up and occasionally I like, hop on the mic for what chat says or what I have to say. But Eric, bro, this is like the slowest. You could have just sent like three loops, bro. What are you sending? Like fucking 200 pack or something?
Eric, I'm counting to ten, bro. Okay, they did. Let me check. I don't. I do not in the loop section, or you sent them. Oh, you sent them DMs. Okay. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Cool. 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 No worries. I'm gonna listen to these right now, and see which one I like. And I'm gonna cook up. I'm gonna go with that one, Eric. Um, I just like it. Good bounce, good bounce, good bounce. Like I feel like, in, I just can like picture the hi hats and stuff like that and the beat. I'm pretty much just making sure to organize it. I'm gonna make you a folder. Okay, let's see. New folder. There we go. Okay. Got that there. And downloads. And let's cut this. Cut. Loops. Paste. All right. You got your loop folder now, bro. Let's go. I'm about to, about to pull it up. Let's see. Yeah. Alrighty. I'm gonna mute up. I'm gonna try to cook, okay? I'm gonna mute up right now. Let's, let's see if I can cook for real. I feel like I need the sunglasses off. Damn. Alright. Alright, alright. I'm muting up, Eric. Let's Let's see if I can cook up. Let's see, let's see.
Bro, honestly, I just can't. I, I'm like trying. I felt like I had a vision for it, and I just can't. I can't like execute it, bro. I don't like, I don't know what it is. I just kind of like, I feel like I got lost in the sauce a little bit. Um, I don't know, bro. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I feel like I was trying to like, I, I kind of like had a vibe that I was going for. And then I just feel like I started trying to force it. I, I think like for me personally, everything just kind of like, if I cook up something, it kind of has to just be fluid. Like, like it just has to naturally happen. And I feel like I was trying to force it, if that makes sense. Um, Just because I know, I, I like, I don't want to be like sitting here and like working on a beat for fucking an hour if that makes sense um i want to see what else i want to go back through these loops i feel like the second one was cool too and the first one was a vibe i don't know what it is exactly bro oh wait you sent me a dropbox okay um okay word uh, i think i just downloaded another one i'm gonna, I'm gonna let me double check um no hold on i don't know bro it's it's weird because because like the loops you're sending they're super fire it's like i just haven't been on that vibe lately at all like the beats that i've been cooking are are not i don't know they're just not like n new shit i i've just been locking in with like cullen and shit and cullen makes these like super different loops like this this dude's loops are crazy. Like, watch. I bet if I pull up one of his loops, I swear, bro, I, I'll make it. I should be able to make a beat in five minutes, just because it's like the vibe I'm on, and like the I haven't even been really going 808 heavy lately or anything. So that's why I think it's throwing me off so, uh, so much. Yeah, like literally. Yeah, that's kind of the thing. Like, cause it's a vibe and stuff. Like, I like the melodies are good, bro. I just don't think I'm in like that mind state right now. If that makes sense, I think that is probably gonna be the toughest thing about like live cookups. Is like I feel like I can't just force myself to go on like a certain type of loop, or it just won't work. It kind of just has to be like natural. Um, but hold up, let me let me move on. Like, let me see if I can cook something up on on the loops that I got from Cullen. Um. Just because they're like, okay, like, you know what it is, bro? The best way to describe it is, like, your loops are, like, placement ready and shit like that. Nah, for real, yeah, you have to listen to music for, yeah, like, it's just, I mean, I've been listening to music for, like, five hours, low-key. <laughs> I like music review and shit. But, um, yeah, bro, like, it just, it just has to come naturally. Like, it has to, it has to just happen. And, like, the vibe I've been on. You'll see what I mean. Like, I swear, like, Cullen just ha I've, is in my pocket right now. Like, because I haven't even been using 808s, really. I've been just, uh, like, I don't know, bro. Like, using drum breaks and shit. I think the thing with your loops, Eric, is, like, they're super placement ready. Like, they're they're ready to go. Like, your loops are fire and, like, they're they're good to go. And it's kind of like you. there's, like, a certain type of drums that you're just going to put over the that loop by default. Um, whereas, like... I like to be able to like flip a loop and make it something completely different. That's like, cause I used to like flip vinyl records and stuff. So I really like doing that. Um, but that being said, let me, let me tap in. If bro, if I try to cook up another beat, it doesn't work, bro. I'm ending the stream. This is first, first live stream beat cook up failure. It might be cause I'm like fucking, I just listened to so much music. I consumed a lot of music already, but I'm gonna tap in. Let's see. Let's see. I'm, I'm gonna give myself 10 minutes. If I can cook something, I cook something. And I'll get in the vibe. If not, 
I guess is I guess is I just don't have it in me tonight. That being said, let let me mute up. Let me let me go through this shit real quick and let me cook.
Is anyone still in chat? If you're if you're here, I, I'm assuming most people aren't. But see, like, this is kind of the wave I've been on, bro. Like, just these different types of drums. I don't know. What, what are you guys thinking about it so far? Like, like I don't know. This is this is the type of shit I've been on. I don't know if there's anyone in chat. It says there's two viewers, bro, but I honestly, I, I'm not too sure. Oh, you're here, bet. I'm glad you think it's hard, bro. Yeah, so then, so I do this. Um... So I'm going to like have like a, a different uh, part as well, like a different type of drum bounce that comes in. I'm going to let me just uh, what's it called? Let me just go in uh, cook like I'll do like a like a double timed. You'll see what I mean. Hold up. good guitar one shot kits for like alt rock honestly um for one shots not not really bro i i 
I wish I I wish I did. I wish I could help uh, recommend you something, but I I honestly don't know. Um, you could definitely like a good option is just check out Reddit. I mean, like you probably already know, but like just drum kids, like r slash drum kids. They might have they might have something for that, but I really don't know that many people that have like good alt rock uh, one shots. Like I haven't I haven't heard of a kit like that. Definitely, uh, there is space for that. So, I mean, if anyone sees this, looking back at the vod. Good time to be making one of those, cause there aren't really any. That being said, I'm a uh, I'm gonna wrap this beat up real quick, and then probably call it a night.
All right. Well, um, yeah. I mean, I did the music review for an hour. I just cooked up for about an hour, like a little bit less. First beat, what did not work. Sorry, Eric. I feel bad. Uh, those beat did work. Shout out Cullen. Me and I, he just locks me in on a different wave, bro. I'm not gonna lie. But uh, it's been an awesome stream. Uh, I know nobody's here anyways, but uh, I appreciate everybody that did come out. I'm excited to do the stream next week. I'm excited to do the beat battle with This Goes Hard, Alex. Um, overall, just excitement all around. I'm, I'm happy for things that are going to go up and everything like that. Again, shout out Cullen for that loop. I'm definitely going to try to clip this uh, clip this cook up and, and put together a little, little bit of a reel of some sort. And I want to start cooking up live more. Um, it's got to be in that vibe. Like Cullen, Cullen's loops always put me in that vibe. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of weird. I just, he just brings it out, bro. Especially he just makes stuff that where it's like easy to integrate drum breaks. And to me, drum breaks has been like my addiction for the past couple months, like several months, like since uh, like last year, um, drum breaks are just goaded. They really help you like structure a uh, sound. But anyways, I don't think anyone's here. If you are appreciate you tuning in, have a great rest of your night guys. Um, and I had a really great stream.